This is Outer Wilds. Fantastic game. And the game is primarily based on knowledge. Um, I am essentially tasked with going out and collecting knowledge about the universe. So, progression is not based on you know, how many dungeons you've beat or anything like that. It's about what you know. It's about what you know. So, uh, we are currently a... Um, Oh god, how do I how do I uh, open up? Oh, I have to go to my um, thing, right? But uh, currently, we're in a solar system. We are in a solar system that was previously inhabited by an ancient alien race. Now, the ancient alien race um, died off some time ago. We don't know exactly why they died off, but they did die off. We found out that they were actually escaping from somewhere else on the vessel. Let, you know what? Let me let me do this. Uh, sorry, we gotta we gotta roast our marshmallow. It's 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 literally up. Oh, shit. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> sorry. One second. We we have we just, we have to roast the marshmallow. It has to happen. Nice. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> So much for the cozy vibe. I know, right? Oh, uh, wait. God damn it. I keep doing this. Did my controls not change? I feel like they did. Oh, regardless. Anyways. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Is there an ending or something? There is. There is. Let me let me get into it real quick. So, um, why can't I view... What's going on? I don't know why that's happening. Okay. Um... Here it is. Okay, so here's everything we've discovered. This is our map of our knowledge. Um, so, um, what we've learned is essentially that there is uh, the vessel. The vessel is a thing that carried this ancient alien race to the solar system because they were escaping from something. And also, they were looking for something. Something called the eye of the universe. They were receiving signals from this part of the galaxy from the eye of the universe. And now they're they're wondering where is this eye of the universe? Like what is it and how do we how do we find it? So they started making a whole bunch of observatories uh, around trying to find it. And along the way, they uh, create some things um, that are a little bit different. Um, and they discover something called like the quantum moon. Now the quum, like we call it, um, is this mysterious object around the solar system that only appears when you're looking at it. Now, it's really it's 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 really interesting because you'll look at the the quum and if you look away and then you look back it disappears. It's both simultaneously there and not there all at once. We call it the quum aka the quantum moon. Um there's uh, a couple other things like uh, the orbital probe cannon which I'll get into in a second. Um, and there's also, uh, uh, the Ash Twin Project. Now, they're trying to find, uh, the ancient aliens were trying to find the Eye of the Universe. So, they started by using, like, a Black Hole Forge, and, uh, a Sun Station, and a whole bunch of other different things in order to build this Ash Twin Project. Now, I don't know what the Ash Twin Project is. We do know that there, it, it does have something to do with, like, memories, uh, there is this system in place uh, with these Nomai statues. So Nomai are the ancient race of aliens. And these statues can retain um, memories. Uh, they can retain memories of a person and then bring them back and then bring them back when they die and they bring them back just in case something happens. And we end up actually having our memories in a statue. Now, what this has to do with the Ash Twin Project, we're not entirely sure yet. Um, we do know that, um, well, oh, whoopsies. Oh God, why is why is this going on? Here it is. Uh, is it this one? There we go. Uh, the celestial chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. The advanced warp core was approved for installation. So we don't know what the Ash Twin Project is, but it is very important because it's helping find the eye of the universe. Now, there's a thing that happened 
Um, one of the ways that they found the Eye of the Universe, or are finding the Eye of the Universe, is uh, through the Orbital Probe Cannon. Uh, they basically have a, a giant cannon in the atmosphere um, of one of the planets, and they're shooting out a probe into deep space. Now, it's, it's, it's very weird because there's some, like, temporal fuckery com going on, like, during the warps. Um, there's, like, warp pads that, like, if you enter the warp pad and then exit it, technically you're exiting the warp pad, like, 0.0001 seconds before you even left. Um, this might be the longest summary. I'm trying to be very, um, um, involved with my summary, so you're all up to knowledge on what we've learned. Um... So basically, there's some weird, like, temporal fuckery uh, uh, going through. Um, so they're like, okay, let's use this orbital probe cannon. So they're taking the cannon, and they're shooting out to, you know, one very, like, one very far part of the universe and seeing what it sees. And then they do it again, and they do it again. But the thing is, is that they can only do once. They can only do one probe at a time. We just learned, huge spoiler, is that whenever we wake up, with our memory, it shoots out again in a different spot. So the Nomai knew about the temporal fuckery and us going back in time, because we're, we're trapped in a time loop. Every single time that we, we die, we come back to life in the same spot. They knew about the fuckery. And whenever we wake up, Actually, let me do this. Whenever we wake up, um, let me die real fast for you guys. <laughs> whenever, whenever we wake up, we, uh, um, I think I can do this really fast by just sailing into the sun. Um, uh, whenever we wake up, the orbital cannon, uh, flies off into a different direction. Turns out, uh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Turns out, uh, they found the Eye of the Universe. Like, they found the Eye of the Universe. So you can see here, we're remembering all of our memories. We're, gonna, we're about to wake up in the orbital cannon. Oh, it shot towards the <laughs> it shot towards the planet. But the last time you saw this at the very beginning of stream, it shot to the right. So every single time we wake up in our time loop, what happens is the orbital cannon shoots off in a different direction. Now, we have to figure out how they knew this, why they know this, uh, among other things. Did I miss anything, chat? Oh, actually, no, you know what? Don't tell me. Um, because you might say something I don't know. Um, because this is all about, like, knowledge. This is all about knowledge. So no spoilers, nothing like that. I don't want to know anything. Very keep it, keep it very, you know, surface level. Um, so, yeah. So these are uh, all of the things. We, we found, like, all of this uh, launch module, control module for the Orbital Pro Cannon. We've discovered all of it. Um... Feldspar's camp, we went into the Dark Bramble, which is creepy as fuck, um, among other things. Uh, then there's, uh, yeah. We still need to find out what the Quum is. <laughs> What's up first today? Good question. Good question. Let me read some of this stuff and make sure that I know exactly where I want to go. Cam was middle right last time. Really? I had a middle right cam? There's no shot. That's crazy. How's this, guys? Shouldn't be a, the quoon since the moon ends with N? Yeah, but we call it the quoon because it's beautiful. Um, okay. Um... For those who are no Outer Wilds and everything, I know that was a long explanation. It was like, it was like fifteen minutes. Basically, let me let me let me explain it in like five seconds. Old ancient race of aliens are trying to find something called the Eye of the Universe. We're trying to find out a what happened to the aliens, why they all died, 
and B, what the eye of the what what the eye of the universe is. And C, well, we only have 22 minutes every single time loop because the universe ends in 22 minutes from now. Uh, so we, we got to figure out how to stop that from happening because the sun's exploding. Uh, chat, did I explain that well for those who, who know? Nintendo Wii, thanks for the 20, uh, 15 months. Uh, Mega Running Cheese, thanks for the tier two for 30 months. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Bussy Barawana, thanks for the uh, nine months. Megan, thanks for the nine months. Bumblebee Sue, thanks for the eight months. Very good. Okay, sick. Okay. Um, so there's the mystery of the quantum moon, the Qloom. There's the Ash Twin project that we can also discover. And then there's the vessel. Um, so there's three different, like, mysteries. Oh, well, I guess a fourth mystery here. Um, hmm. Which one do I want to tackle? I feel like the vessel has something to do with Dark Bramble, so I don't know if I want to do that. I want to do the Quantum Moon. I want to figure out the Quantum Moon. It's, it, it seems fun. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit, and you have the Quantum Moon. Sixth location. Quantum Moon sometimes uh, disappears, possibly un to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, uh, the shrine needs to be on the North, North Pole. And we don't know how to do that. We don't know what, how to, to manipulate the sixth location stuff. Um, because there was the quantum signal. Well, okay. There was the tower of quantum trials, tower of quantum knowledge, gravity cannon, but there was also like, there was, there's this like weird shard that we haven't seen. Oopsies. Um, da -da -da. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Sorry, chat. Uh, the nobody detected a quantum symbol coming from the uh, somewhere on the hourglass twins. Right, so we we gotta basically go to one of the Ash twins to figure out the quantum signal, um, and also figure out what the Ash twin project is. Now, there's something we missed in the black hole forge. I don't know if it's too important because it's actually like such a bitch to get back to the black hole forge. Um, like it's actually awful. Um, but yeah. So there's a statue workshop that leads to this, the Nomai Mines, uh, which leads to this, the Black Hole Forge, all building the Ash Twin Project, which we don't know what it's used for. Now, there's also the High Energy Lab on the white um, that leads to uh, uh, the, the Ash Twin stuff. Um, don't call it a Quignal. <laughs> it is a Quoom with a, with a quantum signal. <laughs> the negative time interval measured at the White Hole Station was further investigated the High Energy Lab. So basically we would go into a warp zone and then we would exit the warp zone slightly earlier than when we entered. Um, was further investigated at the high energy lab in the canyon at the Amber Twins Equator. The Ash Twin project was planned at the high energy lab at building large solar panels on Amber Twins Equator. So I think we do the high energy lab and we keep in mind that there's a quantum signal coming from one of the Ash Twins. Ash Twin tower design, oopsies. Which one is this? There are tower designs on the high energy lab that reveal each uh, warp receiver's location. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah. Let's go to Ember Twin, then. You'll also see this. I, I know we haven't showed much of the game yet, but look at this. Eevee, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Uh, you can fly anywhere in, in in the galaxy. No, like, like look at this. This is... Isn't this sick? Isn't this sick, dude? Now, our goal is to get to the one of the Hourglass Twins. The Ember Twins, specifically, right there. Um, but yeah, look at that. Um, also, um, if you were curious about it, chat, I landed on the Sun Station. For those who know, you know. But I landed on the Sun Station... Not w like without locking on, you know. So you know how you can like lock on to, to everything. I did it without locking on, and it has to be one of my best, like most impressive gaming feats I've ever done in my life. Um, I also really enjoy landing on 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 these. Uh, like I know I can lock on to. Um, um, 
uh, places and everything, and like I'll have an easier time. But I really enjoy landing on them uh, without doing that. I think it's more fun. I mean, just look at look how like I feel like I'm I feel like I've gotten really good at like controlling my uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, my spaceship. Want to see that clip? It's on my uh, alt. Uh, but there's a VOD on my uh, YouTube channel. Alright, high energy lab. This is not where... Where's the orbital cannon again? Orbital cannon's a really easy way to go where I think I want to go. <laughs> or the, the gravity cannon. Uh, gravity cannon. Here it is. Here it is. But yeah, I feel like I'm pretty... Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I'm pretty good at flying my spaceship. <laughs> Which is a feat in, um, in Outer Wilds. Aruka, thanks for the seven months. I didn't put on my spacesuit. <laughs> this is the man who flew to the uh, the sun station without locking on. Yeah, see, look at the orbital cannon. She's off to the right now. Dude, that, that discovery of the orbital cannon has to be one of my great, like, one of the greatest reveals in video game history. Like, to me, the fact that that's how they found, like, they, they, they knew time loops existed, and that's how they found the eye of the universe, or the, the location of the eye of the universe, is, like, ridiculous to me. I, I was just, like, I was blown away, like, uh, about the reveal. All right, spacesuit. There we go, guys. Look, I did it. Orchestral, thanks for the tier one. Uh, all right. I also, for some reason, my my um, I can't lock on right now. Anyways, uh, it's not working. Sometimes my my controller works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, so it's a little weird. Can I can I still like lock on lock on? No, I can't. I can't. That's okay. Lock on's bug. If you bind, it fixes itself. That's okay. Uh, I'm going into the sun here a little bit. All right. We want to go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little hot. I'm going a little hot. First flying on hard mode. And I wouldn't have it any other way. It's just badass. I mean, just look at this. It's, it's, it's just so much more satisfying. All right. Here we go. Um, there's my flashlight. Okay. Uh, if I recall, so there's, there's a city here, um, in the Ember Twin. Yeah. And here's the little, uh, shortcut to get to it. See, the game's all about knowledge. Oh, uh, scout launcher... Goes to the right here that I can't go in, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. Really? Fuck. Oh, shit. Shit balls. This is fine, guys. All right. Don't worry. I only lost a lot of O2. Don't worry, guys. I only lost a lot of O2. Chip Animus, thanks for the 13 months. Best pilot in the system, right? Yeah, you know it. All right. Um, I wanted to go... Oh, I forgot. Um, yeah, let me turn on the lights here. Shit. All right, give me some O2. And then I believe the lights were... Here. All right, because we've been here before. Alright, which way is to the high energy lab? Alright, 
All right, it's way down here. Okay, this is this to the high energy lab, right? Yep. All right, here we go, guys. This is what I wanted to discover. A high energy lab. Keep following this. I'm a little scared. Oh, right. Don't I have to, like, wait? I think I have to wait so I don't have my suit punctured, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. In the meantime... Signal scope, quantum fluctuations. We find out where it is. Okay. So it's kind of close here. All right, we gotta we gotta wait a little bit, chat. We gotta wait a little bit. We gotta we gotta wait for the sand to go over the uh, uh, the cacti. So happy you're finishing this game. I'm glad that you enjoy. I'm glad that you're giving this game a chance on my channel. Because I know not many people do. I know a lot of people are like, it's not Breath of the Wild, therefore I stop watching. And that's okay. That's like totally fine. I I, I don't blame anybody who... Because hey, you know, they know what they want. Easy peasy, beautiful. Nothing wrong with it. Um... I just try my best, um, and uh, I thank you for checking checking out a game that you may not know. Okay. Well, All right. So now we just keep going through here. I got to make some correct decisions pretty fast, I think. But how the fuck do I do this? What? I will. I guess I go around. Okay, yeah, I do go around. Okay. Huh? Wait, how in the what am I supposed to do here? Oh, 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 I go this way. I go this way. Then up. Okay. Oh, a little bit of a maze. Nice. All right, now I go this way. Oh, what? Wait, I can't go up here because the ghost matter. What's over here? Oh, I need to figure out a way to get up. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Because my gravity is just so low here right now. I can go up here. Whatever this is. Is this the high energy lab? I gotta hurry. Wait, I think this is the high energy lab. Remove warp. So, okay, this is the high energy lab. What is this? Records show that Nomai uh, arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing the White Hold Station. Oh, uh, sorry. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing the White Hold Station. Rami and I are devising the experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the White Hold Station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. 
in theory, what we want is to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Whoopsies. Well, let me take this out. And let me put this in. Yeah, Starbucks, thanks for the one year. An update. Our experiment here rep reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient, which we haven't been there yet. Yaru requests that we let him... Uh, of note, Rami. Uh, Yaru requests that we let him know before we reroute their energy to the experiment. I hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed! I saw it! Pi saw it! Hypothesis confirmed! This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything! What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they they correctly observed negative time intervals. That's fucking wild. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22-minute interval is possible to have something arrive 22 minutes before it's actually sent through the warp. Which is the exact amount of time that we take... We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22-minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was intended. I believe it's you who is Arium. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We will also require advanced warp technology to handle such energy. We would also, we would also likely need an enormous space to fit these new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. And we gotta go to the- dude, the Ash Twin has everything! It has the, uh... Wait. Is this the Ash Twin Project? The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To, to build it, we need a way to travel between the Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station, to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. Each tower on the Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my impressive uh, and precise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp donation. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. And we could model the timber hearth tower uh, after a geyser mount. Oh, so you can just tell what it is based on you know, what it looks like. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, it was the, it was the ash. Oh, my God. So these are the, each of the towers. So you can tell, oh, you can tell exactly which tower leads to what. Based on how it looks. I gotta remember that for later. Um, I don't remember it for later. Okay. That's really cool. Wow. So they're responsible for our 20 minute interval. What's going on here? No, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running experiment based on the extraordinary hole, uh, findings from the White Hole Station. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here for help, make sure you use the Sunless City Path in the, uh, to the lab. Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us can prove the other wrong. So, uh, although it's inconvenient, the lab currently has only access to the path to the Sunless City. So, you, they just tell you how to get there. Okay. Inviting sand out inside would disrupt our setup. Sunless City. Right. And we've been to the Sunless City. And this is the high... Wait! I actually never knew this existed. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I've been up here, but I never saw that this entrance existed. I just kind of guessed where it was. That's... Okay, nice. <laughs> 
All right, cool. Um, if I recall, there was these things that I haven't played with yet. Remove warp core. Insert warp core. Oh, is, am I am I just stupid? Do I just do the two whites together? Oh, <laughs> wait one second. Wait, what? What? white hole and a black hole oh it worked wait 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 can we see it happening we go through the wait we go through the black hole and for a split second it appears out of the white hole first if I put this has nothing How does this work? Two black holes? What two blanks? Huh. I do the white and the black hole. Oh, what is this? Oh, now it's powering them. Oh, it needs, sorry, sorry. I remember now because it needs sufficient power in order for this to actually happen. So when you, so, so a black hole to white hole is regular, but when you add a ton, fuck ton of power um, and energy to it, you get a negative time interval. Yo. That's that's pretty sick. All right, we gotta go. Um, uh, chat. Before we go, did I figure out everything um that there is in the high energy lab?
I just want to double check. No. What happens when I two, put two white holes together? No. Two black holes together? Black hole with a blank. A white hole with a blank. It's an Easter egg, but super fun. Do I ask you guys what it is? I don't know if I do. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to figure this out. Very obscure. I, I've tried like every combination here. Uh, give me, give Jack, give me a hint. Give me, give me a small hint. You've used these before. Okay. No. All right. Well, shit. <laughs> Well, trying to explore uh, Ash Twin real quick. All right, where's my ship? Come back next loop. I think we have to anyways, because Ash Twin. Uh, my ship is on the other end of the planet. Nice. Love that for us. Uh, I love how our grav... Did our gravity slightly increase because of the... Can't tell if it was because of the asteroid. All right, let me slingshot myself across the planet. I love doing this too. Oh, you can see uh, our sun is not doing so hot right now. All right. Ashlyn. I'd say it's actually doing pretty hot. Okay, well, no one likes uh, no one likes a wise chat. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. All right, so these are warp towers, warp towers, warp towers, warp towers. Um, now I'm expecting there to be a warp tower that we don't recognize, right? We recognize this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do recognize that one from the top. Oh, I don't want to be lifted up yet. He thinks we're smart. Is, is that what you guys got from it? <laughs> he thinks we're smart, guys. Um, did I read this? Uh, one more core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. My gratitude with the Ashman project is underway. I'm deeply curious about what old poke found on the White Hole Station. Can I visit to learn some more? Or when you do, the White Hole Station is the model for the Ashman project. Uh, I'd like to visit the White Hole Station with you. I have to explain your findings. Stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did already read that at one point, but I, that's so funny. Oh, don't smack. Okay, I smack. Um, so we know all of these places so far. That's the thing about this. is like, we've been to all of these towers. Like, we know what all of these lead to. I feel like there's one tower or so that we haven't 
I mean, this is the high energy right there. Is this the sun or something? Let me read this one. Some time has passed. Uh, yeah, the sun station. Oh, is this how you actually get to the sun station? Time spent away from the station will be eventful. Shoes, you both. I'm testing your hypothesis. At least we can agree on. Everyone thinks I'm a gas. And we're called the sun station. Here we are. Oh, well, shit. That's funny. Yeah, so if you're just like, if you lack skill, this is where you go. Good to know. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? Let me go to the deep, deep parts of Ashland. Oh, wait, what? There's entrances here? Wait, what is all of this? Wait, is this the... Is this the place? Oh, no! No! Not the song! This just leads us to the top. Well, we'll be able to see it real close, guys. Jamie, thanks for the one year. Yeah, it just, this just gives us a really good view. But there has to be some stuff at the bottom. Guys, we got front row seats. It's been 22 minutes. Grab the popcorn, guys. It's been wonderful serving this universe with you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Emerald Note, thanks for the two years. Thank you. And as you can see here, since we're caught in a time loop, we just reset all the way back. Shot to the upper left, uh, upper left this time. Nito! You should have died instantly after the explosion happened. Yeah, that's the most unrealistic part <laughs> of this game. <laughs> that's, that's the one. No, no, you guys got that. <laughs> it's not like, you know, the ancient alien race, the negative time intervals, you know. All right, let's check out, see what we discovered this time. So the high energy lab, uh, the Ash Twin tower designs. We got both of them this time. Awesome. And now the Ash Twin project. We need to figure out how to get here. But know my plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute not negative time interval on Ash Twin. Ah, oh, shit. Is it because I need to do more Black Hole Forge? Fuck. Chat, do I need to... Okay, I I'm going to ask this. Do I need to explore more about the Black Hole Forge? Or is it good? Not really? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to go back there. 
I visited there three times, and they were difficult to. It's so hard to get to. Uh, shelter site. Okay, pod one. Okay. Hmm. Killer baby, thanks for the uh, five months. Hey, thanks for the follows too, guys. If you're not following the stream yet, feel free to follow if you like the uh, playthrough. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's go back to the Ember Twin and find out that quantum signal. Where that is. I think that's what we do. Because we still need to figure out the sixth location business and all. We haven't yet, you know? Like, I don't know what the sixth location and, and all that is. And I know that the quantum shard, I think, is on the Ember Twin. Which leads us to the Quoom, guys. Don't worry. I know you guys like the Quoom. I know you want the Quoom, all right? Everyone does, all right? Oh, I, over, I overshot. I overshot. Whoopsies. I know everyone wants the Quoom, so we'll, 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 we'll get back to the Quoom soon. I just need to figure out what this whole sixth location business is. Whoopsies. Um, I have my space suit on. I need to double check now. Uh, signal scope. Quantum fluctuations. Quantum flux. It's not on Ash Twin. Okay. somewhere near here. Whenever I get the aux cord, I blast the quantum fluctuation frequency. Yeah, it's a banger, isn't it? down here oh I found it what the hell is this friends if you find any sign of coleus I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace but doing our research trip and has been missing ever since Melray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Bird. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Melray? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Okay, so North Pole cave. Happened in an instant and without warning. And I turned away from Coleus uh, to examine a sample. And when I learned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. Uh, Anoa, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the North Lake Bed Cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. It oh, God fucking damn it. Of course, of course it happens. It's, it's, a, it's a fucking quantum shard. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Uh, the North Lake, North Pole Lake Bed.
It's so it's like it's so cool and creepy at the same time. I one of the reasons I like the Ember Twin and the Ash Twin is because like the idea behind it. It's really cool. But the other thing is like I fucking hate it. I hate the Ember Twin because it's so creepy. I mean, hell, look at this. Oh. Shit. I think I'm I think I'm out of time. I think I need to go here like immediately. I love the low grab stuff too. Oh, 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 oh. Not that low grab. Where's my ship? Uh guys, 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 guys. I have an idea. You guys want you guys want to know my idea here? <laughs> yeah, no, I have like it's a really, really good idea. You guys are gonna be like, holy shit, point pro, you're insane. <laughs> Into the sun we go. Sun for the sun god. <gasps> All right, we gotta hurry though. We gotta really hurry. Gosh, okay, here we go. It, it's like it's it's customary. We have to. We always have to roast a marshmallow. Imagine it doesn't. Yeah, imagine it only loops a hundred like a hundred and five times, and the hundred sixth time you're like, ah, oh, well, sucks. You're fresh out of luck. Good luck. <laughs> Goodbye. Is there a reason for the marshmallow? No. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss. Damn it. Oh fuck, dude. I missed my tree, I, 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 was, I was stationary. Yep. I'm out running the sun right now. <laughs> Please, 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 please. This is good enough. Okay, I gotta hurry. He's gaming. He's gaming. Throw my flashlight. the cave? Am I going down the cave? I think I'm going down the cave. It's so dark. It's so dark. I'm so scared. Wait, 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 wait. Where's, where's the quantum?
I'm lost, chat. How the fuck do you know where to go? Love that sound. KTV, thanks for the one year. Oh, that was brutal, dude. That is a brutal crunch. <sighs> nice, All right. Yeah. I wish I knew where to go. I, I thought that, like, there, there'd be the quantum shard there. And then we can, like, look at it. Or maybe we do go to the quantum... <gasps> you know what? Maybe we go to the quantum shard, look away from it, and then that'll... Then, then, when we look with the, the... When we look away from the quantum shard, then we know exactly where to go in the maze. Hey, what's up, RT? How's it going? Dude, I, like most things I play... Cannot wait to finish this so then I can watch your playthrough. <laughs> That's what I did with Subnautica. I was like, a part, part of the reason why I was like so excited to finish Subnautica was to literally watch your playthrough of it. <laughs> We're set for a happy holidays. I am. Oh, fuck! Oh, it's so happy! Oh, I'm so happy about the holidays! Don't worry, guys. We're all fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> No, we're all good. Okay, so here's where the shard was. Fuck. Right? So here's my idea behind it. Okay, so we go in here. We look at the shard. Okay, the shard's not here. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Oh, oh, we leave the signal scope here. Take a picture of it. So the shard cannot appear here any longer. Okay, perfect. So now we use the signal scope. To figure out where the shard is at the bottom. Yeah, no, no, it's here. It's still there. Cave shards over here. Yeah, yeah, it's over this way. Oh fuck. Oh god, I'm I'm like panicking right now. I'm in full panic mode. Is there anything down in here? I feel like there has to be something, right? Maybe if I just like go the right way. Chat! Chat! I'm lost. Oh, shit. This was a mistake. 
This was a big mistake. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I leave? Let me, I need to fall, like, solve the mystery of the, the <gasps> Quignal. I wonder how the devs made that noise. I heard that the devs actually crushed somebody. You know, to make it a realistic, uh, part of the game. I mean, you know, you ever hear, like, Foley, right? You know, where they, you know, uh, click together rocks or, like, scratch it against the chalkboard or anything. It's all about method acting. Quantum caves. Okay. Lake bed cave. Yeah, that's what we're trying to explore right now. Okay. Um. It's a signal on quantum fluctuation frequency. There's more to explore. Right. And then the lake bed cave. Uh, vanquished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Amber Twins North Pole. Which we need to find out. Okay. Let's try again. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Yeah, it's like method acting. But like for, you know sound effects I just want to know the mystery of the womb that's it that's that's the main okay well I want to find out what the eye of the universe is and how to know my all died and everything but still the womb that's where my brain is right now it's the womb I've been on the womb so many times I just can't figure out what the sixth location thing is like that puzzle watch I'm gonna let I love I love the orbital mechanics in this game. It's so cool. Going a little bit. See, look how look how look how fun this is. I'm such a good pilot, guys. Like when you think about it, you know. Okay, lake bed up here. But like, don't think about it too hard or you're gonna hit your head. Okay, lake bed cave. Let's try this again. But like, correctly this time. Okay, so there's a cave. Go down here. Go farther down. Cave goes even farther. I can't go there. Can I go? This is, this is to the cave. Okay. I'm gonna go left. Go left. No. Dude, is this cave leaving to nothing? What? Okay. Chat, put a yes or no. Am I just an idiot? Okay. All right. You're... All right. All right. Some of you guys are just saying yes because you want to tell you want to tell me that I'm an idiot. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. Chat, am I missing something super obvious? Yes or no? Yes, but so was I when I saw the puzzle. Okay. Thank you. And also, thank you for not spoiling. I appreciate it. All right. Let me go back in the cave. Anything else here? There's the quantum shard. Oh, okay. So the quantum shard's not here anymore, which is awesome. Okay. So. 
Where is the shard now? Shit. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So if I take a picture, it's not there. Okay. It should be there now. Okay, so that's what I'll see. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, what's wait, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, what's on here? Wait, what's over here? Oh, is this where we No, this is not where we came from. Oh, this leads to the vessel. Or not the vessel, the the whatever the hell. Okay. Okay, so I wanna signal scope quantum fluctuations. Like exactly below me is what I'm getting at. Okay. Okay. Let me try. So, in case you guys are curious, if you take a picture of the the quantum thing, it doesn't actually. Um, if you take a picture of the quantum thing. Um, the quantum thing uh, will not. Um, move. Because it can, you know. Oh, wait, the cave. No. Yeah, if it's being observed, it doesn't move. Wait. Does. Measuring the frequency like this also technically observe it? Wait, I think it actually does. Wait, I don't need to take pictures or anything. If I'm observing it with the signal scope, it's like I'm still like observing it. should still be here. Ah, yes! I found it. I found I found where it goes. That's awesome. Colas is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry bed uh, lake bed at the North Pole several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know any uh, how much area is when he disappeared, I begged my friend reading this to help us recover Colas. This rock is very familiar. Do you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? Oh, so, so it has three different spots. Okay. We plan on re-examining the North Lake Bed cave. An update. Mel or I and I went back to the lake bed cave to observe the rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Okay. So, one of the locations of the rock is um, the dry lake bed. We found the other two. Therefore, um, <laughs> therefore, if we can lock in on the signal at the dry lake bed, then um, uh, we should be all good to go. What I want? I wanted to kill myself, so then I got another shot. You know? <laughs> all right. What? What do you mean? Why, why are you guys? It's how it works. This is something we got to do at the very beginning of the loop. Yeah. Maybe the answer is to die to the cactus. God, this is such a cool game. I, I I think every single revelation that we find out is just like, man, I... Oh, I didn't eat the marshmallow. Sorry. I speed run this. There we go. 
Um, yeah, dude, absolutely. Like, like every single thing that we find out is just amazing. Like, it changes my entire like view on the game itself. The brilliance of the game, it is. It really do. It really do. Be. Okay, so we found out um, all about the quantum caves. Uh, here, so the lake bed cave is the next thing. Okay. So we didn't even find that second one, but actually, no, we kind of did. Because it taught me about that there's the third location in the lake bed. Although, maybe there was the third location in the lake bed before, and I just didn't realize it. But, you know. So. Oh, I'm going too fast. Oh, fuck. Well, GG, guys. Unless... Oh, he's such a god gamer. Man! Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Look at that. Saved. Oh, I love... I, dude, the, the spaceship mechanics in this are beautiful. I love this. He's such a good pilot. Look at him go. Okay. So I need to lock in. There's the cave shards in here. Or one of the cave shards. Okay, let me observe it real quick. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do this. I'd be quick about it. Fuck! Not what I meant to do. What? I fucked up chat. Okay, it's here. It's so crazy that it appears like that. I I that's wild to me. Okay. I need to get out of here. It's just so dark. I got focus. I'm focusing. I might be too late for the lake bed cave. I can still do it, guys. I can still do it. I can still do it. I think I figured out how to do it. Wait, I figured it out. Wait, I figured it out. The chat, the pathway was literally like, like it shows that's such a cool Wait, That's such a cool, uh, uh, thing. Cause like the pathway is like the place of least ash. It was, I, I know it wasn't like a puzzle, but it's like you got to commit, you know, like, like, like you, you got to find out like the pathway that's like not being filled up because it goes steadily upwards. That's pretty cool. 
That's pretty cool. I gotta now go up here. I think it's just a maze. No, but there's the there, there's that small like thing too. Okay, so now I need to go up here. And some parkour. I'm literally using this for light. <laughs> Fuel problem? I have a minor fuel problem. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, if I keep failing this, then I have more of a problem than I need. There we go. And I made it through. All right, our fuel level's critical, but that's fine. It's all fine, guys. Don't worry, we also have a minor oxygen problem too, but you know, who cares, right? Luminor, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. What? Oh, it's another mini puzzle. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, it's quantum. It's a fucking quantum cave, is it? Oh, I need oxygen. Wait, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I found it with oxygen. Oh my God. I solved it with, with a clutch barely amount of time. Jeez, dude. Oh, that was ridiculous. All right, well, I found it here. Here's the last quantum shard. this if you come here to look for coleus this is where we were when he vanished he's been missing for two days now what happened before coleus has appeared we were examining the different rocks i recall coleus standing on the largest one the wandering rock i was taking notes and then my lantern died when i lit again coleus and the rock were gone your strange wandering rock friend is here well coleus isn't coleus and i observed this unusual looking rock shard and at least two other caverns i'm sure this is relevant Wait a second. I can teleport with the...
Huh? That's fucking creepy. That's fucking creepy, dude. Bad vibes, man. Bad vibes. Don't call it corpse husband. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> Oh, that's just the lights. Okay. If I solve this, I think I solve the the Quum puzzle, technically. He was standing on it. Oh, and then the lights went out. How do I make the lights go out, like, from afar? Oh! I light, I light it up like that. So the clone comes here. And then I recall my oscilloscope or whatever. And my flashlight. Holy shit! It worked. It was my flashlight. Oh my god, it's my flashlight. Wait, I can do the quum now. It makes sense. It makes sense. I can do the I can I can I can do the quum. How curious, this rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I became uh, quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. If my hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Um, I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melray is here now too we theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer uh explain the need for darkness this being uh, entangled with a quantum object and they move together friends coalesce has observed a new quantum rule quantum entanglement oh, i love that this is so cool
God, this is so cool. Okay, okay, so we now have, like, basically done all of the quant- Like, we, we know all of the quantum rules. Like, the quantum- Like, there's the sixth location, I think. There's, um, there's the entanglement, and then there's, a, ob like, the observation one. That is so cool. It makes so much sense, too. Like, if there's- if- if, if you can't even observe anything because- because you don't have light, then you can't change- like, you can't see where you change. Chat, that is so cool. Nice over a thousand viewers right now. Yeah, I don't, uh, I normally stream to like 2,000 or so, which is awesome. Um, thousand viewers with Outer Wilds. Love giving the game some, uh, um, recognition. <gasps> Boom. Here we go. Guys, I think we finally do the quoom. I wonder how this didn't win game of the year. <laughs> there it is, Lake Bed Cave. Oh, let's go to the quoom, oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All right. Now, it would be awesome if the quoom appeared here. Save me some time. Well, well, okay, there it was, then I lost it again. All right, found the quoom. <laughs> okay, took a picture of it so we can now enter the quoom. I'm quooming, I'm quooming. Hi, Otto. Ah! I quoomed so hard. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I might have quoomed a little too hard. Oh, 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 <laughs> we, oh, we can't leave the quoom now. Shit. <laughs> All right, well, we need to go to the North Pole. So, now with the Quoom, there's a couple different things. One being this. This is the shrine, right? All right, so it says we're in uh, Brittle Hollow. Please. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, no, I want to do that. And then Quantum Entanglement. We're in Giants, Giants, uh, Keep, or Giants Deep. All right, I want to go to, uh, the Timber, Timber Hearth one. That's the easiest one for me to understand, I think. What's happening here? Which one's this one? Um, oh, this one's Timber Hearth. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. No, I don't want to go to Brittle Hearth or, or Timber Hearth. I want to go to the Eye of the Universe.
Oh my god, we're here. Oh my god. Here we are. The eye of the universe. What? Quantum imaging. Sixth location. Quantum entanglement. I have all, all the necessary information to solve this. Please be kindred, uh, or please be kind, rewind, thanks for the 17 months. Thank you. And Zydes, thanks for the nine months. to be at the North Pole. Okay, can I make, let me see if I can, the shrine appear at the North Pole? If I can, I'm good. I can. <laughs> I can. Okay. That's the rule of the sixth location. Fire Breath Sprig, thanks for the one year. Just yet, someone, thanks for the uh, prime giving. I just want to say that um, I it, this, the, because I think I solved it. The puzzle of the Quoom in Outer Wilds is one of my favorite video game puzzles of all time. With that being said, Let's do it. Oh, 
What the hell? Anything else appears here, or is it just the shrine? scared right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's a living Nomai? Hello. Elena. Who are you? Uh, hi. Stone, the Eye of Universe Stone, the Quantum Moon Stone, the Me Stone. Uh, the Identify Stone. Oh, is this how we communicate? Oh, oh, it's Identify yourself oh whoa I am Solanum a nomai my clan arrived in the solar system before my birth and we now call it home I didn't know that um this is really cool Explain, explain yourself. I am my on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. I have an idea. Do you remember that rocket on Timber Hearth that we can ex like shoot into the sky? I wonder if we can do that. Okay. Um. So I've done the use quantum moons. So I explain the quantum moon. We're going to go through all the dialogue options here because I'm really curious about this. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is, uh, is as we see it now and that the eye is its primary location. Okay. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it is uh, likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Therefore, the eye is also likely quantum. Oh, so the womb is the moon of the eye, basically. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that land on other planets eventually become quantum too. Like the cacti and the corpse. That's really cool. 
Uh, no, keep the quantum moonstone here. Sorry, we're. I, I know this might take a while, but I want to do all the dialogue options. I'm really curious. This is the quantum moon where we're both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe. Okay. Um, the me stone. I d identify me. I've never met with one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. That's very nice of you. I can't believe we found one of the Nomai that is alive. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and uh, find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here ever. Perhaps you came from another star system as my clan originally did? I did. Uh, so explain. Oh, okay. Next one. Explain the eye of the universe. Actually, let's do the identify the eye of the universe because it's probably less dialogue first, and the more important ones to explain. There's fundamentally uncertain. There's fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the solar system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Right, conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. True. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? It would collapse into a single probability, which would cause the eye to be one of whatever states it is. Over time, this question has this has become a guys this has become a clan's greatest question, which is what if you could like consciously observe the eye itself? That's that's the thing, you know. That's cool. All right, explain the eye of the universe. Oh, I've already done the explain. I never mind. Whoopsies. Identify the eye of the universe. Juan Ferno, thanks for the prime. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells on an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Well, that's everything. Okay. All right, everything? What do you mean? I've, what do you mean there's more? You and the eye of the universe. Oh, oh. Thank you. Many of my clan have believed the eye called to us to, for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe this eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only then to vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself. Someday, if I fear this may be on my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that it may not be entirely... I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. I guess that makes sense. In a way. Like if you if you if you died. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you guys remember the corpse we saw on the Quum? Like a while ago? Like the, the, the weird... So you are only alive in this state. You're quant... Like, like, Solanum is quantum. Like, 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 like Solanum, Solanum is only alive when we're in this Eye of the Universe state. When we transfer over to that, like, 
one where it's like they're dead like on on like i think it was giants keep or something like that's oh holy shit okay what about you and the quantum moon Uh, like many of the clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. It's the closest any of us have come to see the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis. Yep. I'm not entirely alive. What about you and me? <laughs> you and me? Ooh, ooh. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you might, won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Okay, what about the I and me? Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. What would you try to enter would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know. I'll, I'll find out. Me and the quantum moon. Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you'll find them. Um, me and you. Me. Okay, so I've done all of those. Okay, and then um, quantum moon and the... No, I think we've done every possibility. No, we've uh, cool. yeah, we've done every possibility we can here. I think, except for explain and identify. These are the two tenets of know my philosophy to seek out and uh, to understand is our way of living. I'm proud of you. Iron Moon? I thought I did. Let me check. Alt Fairy, thanks for the nine months. And Homeschooled Wizards, thanks for the 27. Oh, I did not. Okay. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it is currently observing. For instance, the moon looks quite differently when orbiting Giant's Deep than when it does orbiting the Hourglass Twins. It does, yes. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. What would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Sour Gamer, thanks for the two months. Thank you. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. I have ideas with all of this now. I have so many ideas. Was the plume all you hoped for? I love the plume. Okay. What happens if I go in here? There's Solanum. There's Solanum. Thank you, friend. Thanks, friend, for helping. Let's get back there. I have some ideas. Right, it's Pearl Hearth. Um, I want to get as close to here as I can, which I think you will appear here. 
Gamateri, thanks for the gifted sub. Mm, there it is. Okay. Oh, I need to close this. <laughs> Whoopsies. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, Nico switches. Thanks for the 29 months. Thank you. This game does slap. And hey, if you're enjoying the stream and you're not following the stream yet, feel free to follow. We're slowly on our way to um, 1 million followers. Now, are we going to be able to get there? Eh, it'll take a while, but, you know. Close. We just got we just got half a million. Dark Bramble. Love this place so much. Yeah, 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 this is what I'm looking for, I think. Can I turn off the lights here? I don't think I can. I, I can't take the warp drive off, though. But, since the ship is here. Oh. Chad, it's that time. It's that time. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. if I do this and then I go to Dark Bramble. You know? Because there was that big center of Dark Bramble. I wonder if I'd be able to real fast. Wait. Do I... Wait, this isn't... What happens now? What? We still died. And it was in the shape of the Nomai stuff. Was it be. I. I, I wonder why. Why didn't. Why did we teleport back to the time? Like, why, why, why did the time loop happen if we didn't die? All right, what do I know? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I die. If I die, I reset. The gnome I have my memories. In the Nobody statue. Is it because... No, it, it can't be because the statues died, like, broke. Because, like, 
That doesn't make sense. Because then, like, if, if we're on Dark Bramble and it destroys whatever the Ash Twin project is on Ash Twin, then, like, we don't die when Ash Twin goes. So it has to be... So it's not that condition. So it has to be time-based, then. Because that's the only other time, like... We last 22 minutes. Which was the time interval that they had. The negative time interval. So it, it's not like, oh, okay, okay. So so we're 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 not dying. We're not resetting because we're dying. We, well, we are. We are. But every single time the, the supernova happens, it's because we died. But in that case, we didn't die. Which means it's like, regardless of anything, if if we stop the supernova from happening, we're still going to reset in 22 minutes. So not only do we have to stop the supernova from happening, hopefully, but then we also then have to turn off the Ash Twin project as well. So that it's, we have to do that both in the same time loop too. Now, I don't know how to do either of those yet, but that I think is our goal. That's fucking badass. That's insane. So it's not about being in the, it's not, it's literally, it's literally in the name time loop. It's a time loop. It's a time loop. It's a time loop. It's not a death loop. It's a time loop. I accidentally stumbled upon the answer like 10 hours of playtime ago when I called it a time loop. Sixth location. And we've solved the quantum moon. Well, not really. I want to test some other things, too. All right, where's the Quoom? I want to test, like, one or two more things with the Quoom. Where's the Quoom? Where's the... Found the Quoom. There it is. Oh. You love my piloting? What? It, it, it's beautiful, isn't it, right? Ah. Uh. Also, chat, thanks for not spoiling the game. Uh, I feel like you guys have done a fantastic job at not telling me answers. And I, I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Also, great mods. This is such a beautiful... Look at that. That's... Oh, God. That game's so beautiful. I'm chasing the quote right now, which is not ideal. Let me catch up on the other side. That is the most beautiful landing on the Quoom I've ever done in my life. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. So Lanham's on the South Pole? Oh, so Lanham's always on the South Pole. Right, 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 right. Sorry. We we just appear on the North Pole. <laughs> he 
Yeah. So here's this. I want to check out what the North Pole looks like on Giant's Keep and everything else. That's that's what I want to do. You know? That's my that's my question, my goal. All right. So in order to do this, we need to go to Timber Hearth. I love this game. I'm sorry if I'm not like being totally entertaining or like, oh, it's, I'll be honest, because I'm not trying too, too hard. <laughs> um, I am just really into this game. And I think that's one of the goals of, of, of this playthrough is like, I want to get lost in it. Yeah, this is more like an alt stream on main with like some aspects. Okay, so this is Ash Twin stuff. Um, I want to do Giants Keep first. Figure out, yeah. Are we in the center of the? Yeah. The storm here. Is there anything special in the center of the storm? All right. Let me um look away. See if you peer back. Nothing special here. There it is. <laughs> you just keep like, chat, if you don't see the shrine, then just keep turning in circles and you'll get it eventually. <laughs> not because I'm so invested right now. Has anyone in chat here not played Outer Wilds, but th that's watching? A decent amount of you, wow. Crazy. Okay, this is inside dark brambles. Just checking to see if I'm missing anything, you know. How much does the game cost? You can look it up on Steam or just Google it. I have no idea. Uh, I am in a lucky enough position, um, and I recognize that, to not know the prices of games. <laughs> it's on sale right now? Oh, no shot. Sick. All right, Ash Twins. And uh, don't worry, I, I do recognize them. I've been on the Ash Twin Quantum Moon yet. This is the first time I'm here. So good news, you can also get to the North Pole with the Ash Twin. Point Crow is privileged? Yes, I am. You're correct. It's 15 bucks right now? Oh my god. You know what? I'll, I know I haven't finished this game yet, and I never do this. Because I try to make it a point, like, where I finish the entire game to make sure that, like, it's something I enjoy. Because there's been a couple games in the past where, like, I've, I've played the game and then, like, it just turned out to be a massive disappointment. I will full-heartedly say... I recommend you get this game. this is I don't understand why this is here like I understand that we're going to the quantum moon and everything but does this appear on the quantum moon are you gonna play the DLC maybe I know you guys will really want me to the answer is maybe will you do a gym earlier stream again yeah 
Yeah, I plan on doing that. Um, but not yet. I want to take this chill stream for a bit. Relax from the all the YouTube content and all that. So. Okay. I wonder if the rocket appears anywhere. I don't think it does. Ah, oh, shit. Oopsies. You know, I wonder what happens if you put the scope through it. Nah, chat. We're gonna uh, we're gonna explore this a little bit farther. I want to mess around a little bit more with the uh, Quum. Hey, dark brambles useful for something. I I know from observing this that. The, uh, one of the um, key things in this... Oh, there's the shrine. One of the key things in this is that um, I think the vessel is in Dark Bramble. I fucking hate Dark Bramble. <laughs> I, I am trying to avoid this as much as possible. Turn around a couple times, and there she appears. Dark Bramble gives Thastalophobia vibes. Same thing with uh, Giant's Keep. My two least favorite places. And let's go to the Quum. All right, let's go to the Eye. This is so cool how we're like using this to transport. I love this. It's dude, this is such a cool, cool game. All right, don't get sucked up. Chat, say hi to Solanum. Oh, I went the other way. Oh, whoops. Anyways. Um. Activates my recall. Okay. So I can't take a picture? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to look more at the Ash Twin project itself. Cause I can do like that. <laughs> I can't directly take a picture of the eye, can I? to something. We're on to something. Because I'm taking a picture of the quantum moon. I can't be... transported. So if I do this, I'm back to, to Earth. Hmm. 
You don't mind asking, how do you grow as a content creator? Drink lots of milk. What, am I wrong? It's good for your bones. I want my ship. <laughs> Where's my ship? <laughs> Where the fuck did my ship go? Uh, I entered uh, with Giant's Keep, right? I think it was. I don't think I have a ship anymore. Look, whoa! Oh, hey, there's the orbital cannon. Oh, my ship's over there. It's 2.4 kilometers away. Orbital cannon again. I do have the coordinates for the eye of the... For the eye of the universe. I know that. I guess we try to figure out what the Ash Twin project is now. Jack, I'll let you guys chew. I'll, I'll let you guys choose. The vessel or the Ash Twin project? Those are the two things that we got to figure out. Chew. Okay. For those saying vessel, are you saying that because? Um, are you saying that because it's Dark Ramble? Or because you think it's going to be interesting story-wise? Oh! Oh, yo! Did you see that? I saw the 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 quoom in when we opened our eyes and then it disappeared. God, that's so cool. Imagine if that's like your first time waking up. That'd be wild. Doing the vessel first will give you a better moment later. Sure. All right. Thank you for that. All right. Um, what What do you think story wise is better, Ash Twin or um, Vessel? Actually, there's also the subsurface energy readings. Where the fuck that is? Chuddle's equipment heard strange energy readings from the surface. Two of the Nomai located fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. All right, we're doing interloper first. Ash Twin best for last, okay. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, where's the interloper? Um, okay, so the best way to catch the interloper. Stay around the sun. Well, actually, no. Okay. 
right, we're gonna wait a little bit. Lock on. My lock on's not working, so we're gonna go raw. Like we did with the uh, the sun. Actually, the worst place is around the sun because it's going so fast. Best place is on the way. There it is. My lock on's broken. Yeah. Oh no, it's it's not broken. Anyways, we're not gonna do it with lock on. <laughs> Sorry, my lock on works. I lied. Um, I'm just gonna do it without because I think it'll be fun. slight issue with that it's heading towards the sun so we have some time sensitivity here There we go. Oh, um. Yeah, our ship's gonna be propelled elsewhere, but that's fine. Neato. <laughs> Flawless landing. Thank you, thank you. So, on the south side is like a special thing. First off, there's that. There's an opening. Hey, I'm just saying, that's what like allowed me to land on the sun station. All right, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, he's pretty cracked. Being yeah, cracked, look at this, look at this slingshot around the sun. God, that's so cool. There's the sun station. Goodbye. Okay, so there's a crack in there. Um, I wish I had my <laughs> I wish I had my ship to figure it out. Oh, wait, the, the ship's still here. Alright. Oh, I got caught. Let's go. Where does it say again? Subsurface level scattering. It said, um, sunward side. Oh, the sunward side. Uh, which would be over here. Okay, I can't get anywhere here. Let me read what it said again. So we've, I think I found the crack. This could be the wrong crack. You might be guys, you guys might be yelling at me. Um, Trench energy is coming from beneath the surface. Okay, so I can get inside of the interloper. Two of the Nomai uh, uh, located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside. Okay, so you can descend inside to investigate. Or they did, at least. Sunward side. Does it melt when I'm close to the sun? I thought that, I, you see, like, I tried to make that prediction with, like, the... Oh, where was it? Where was it? Right here. This thing. But it didn't melt. Although it's not sunward. It's spaceward side. But maybe I'm right if I wait here. Yeah, fuck it. This might be boring for you guys, but I'm going to wait. 
Deep works. Deep works. Okay. All right. What's the uh, trajectory right now? All right. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna uh, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. All right. So give me like two to three minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. You can you can watch our uh, location. You can people sit while we're gone. Yo. How's it going, guys? Hello, hello, hello. How it be, how it do. Ah. I hope you guys are having a fun time, just uh, and, and all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I know it's a little bit more of a uh, classic, you know, sort of um, playthrough sort of stream. There's nothing, like, really special going on in the case of uh, challenges or anything, but I'm glad you guys are uh, enjoying as you do. I just want to give you a little, a little appreciation. So, And yeah, I guess if you're watching this and you're not uh, following the stream yet, feel free to follow. You know how it goes. So, um, thank you. Uh, where is my ship? Nero. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, I was on uh, Twitter. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, Jenna and Julian got married. So, pretty awesome. Uh, not only that, but um, I tweeted out how many emails I have, <laughs> which is arguably more important. Um, uh, like unread emails. Uh, while we're waiting, let me give you guys a little heart attack. Um, I have currently, as it stands, 19,276 unread emails. The fuck? No, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. And we're slingshotting so we're going pretty fast here is this gonna melt 
If he doesn't melt, this is going to be like the most boring like five minutes on stream I've ever done in my life. <laughs> we'll, like, we'll have like an award show. What's the worst five minutes on stream you've ever watched? It's this. <laughs> just, just, just me being wrong for five minutes and just being like, what if I just stay here? You know, what if I just don't do anything? That'd be really funny though. Oh, he was right. Let's fucking go. Oh, that's so cool. Neato. Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ghost, ghost matter, ghost matter, ghost matter. Where's ghost? What's ghost matter? It'll kill you instantly. Oh, not this one! Not this one! Wrong one! Wrong one! Wrong one! Wrong one! <laughs> not, not that one. Hey, what is this? Is this oxygen? Oh, whoa. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we've beneath, uh, we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, close to the comet center. I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we'll lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return to the moment we identify the source of the ener energy readings. But be cautious, both of you. The energy readings. Right, here we go, photo mode again. I'm nervous, man. Okay, no ghost matter. Uh, ghost matter in there. There's ghost matter in there. A lot of ghost matter. over here it doesn't look like anything special in there but what's this Fucking ghost matter dude <laughs> okay all right go in the right one <laughs> go in the left one <laughs> oh boy no, G9, it makes it the eight months. <laughs> Wait, isn't this where we just came from? There's ghost matter down there. Oh, yo, it's a uh, there's a nobody. And they died presumably from ghost matter. A 
it seems like it's safe to go down this way like this. Oh, whoa! I'm in zero G right now. Spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within this would rapidly expand, completely blanking the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct the shelter. They can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. Is this why our? Oh. It... The casing exploded. And that's why there's ghost matter in the universe. This is why all the Nomai Is this why all the Nomai died? Because of the interloper? That's fucking crazy. So like, what happened to them was they like, they, they were like, oh God, oh God, extinction. Like that right there. Yeah, they just got ghosted. That's fucking crazy. Okay, well, we discovered the extinction event that happened. The interloper came into the, the universe. Huh. Fuck. Yeah, that's why Solanum is alive on the eye and not alive anywhere else. It's like, that's crazy. Fucking crazy. Guys, roast went out for the Nomai. Skier, thanks for the, the one year. Thank you. Klein, thanks for the one year as well. So many years. What happened a year ago? Oh, streams blew up again. That's why. The ruptured core. Found two missing members. Yep, they determined the exotic. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system, almost instantaneously. Wow. All right. Well, well let's go to the vessel now. <laughs> the warp core broke when the ship entered Dark Bramble. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, I don't want to go to Dark Bramble. I don't want to go to Dark Bramble, dude. Fuck. Dude, no. We're going to die so many times. 
Hey, look, it's the Quum. All right, where's Dark Bramble? Where are you at, Dark Bramble? All right, I'm gonna slingshot across the sun to Dark Bramble. Oh, all right, let's go do the vessel stuff and then Ash Twin Project. This is, wow, that's crazy. We, we just solved one of the, the the main things about the game. The, the main questions that everyone's been asking, or at least I've been asking. Like what happened, like why didn't the Nomai all die? And it was just an extinction event from the, uh, the comet, the interloper. All right, Dark Bramble. Oh, I'm going to cry. I hate this place. What were they afraid of again? The anglerfish? Um, was it light? No, no, they're attracted to light. They're attracted to the light. That's what it was. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Because, like, that's also what has to do with, like, the quantum stuff, you know? I hate this. Okay, if we get eaten, we get eaten. Um, where's the fucking angular fish? Um. Track is wrong and this guy's was it once. That's probably important for later. Here it is. No, my children uh, played the game. The blindfold. Wait. One player was the anglefish for a blindfold. Oh, so you can't make a sound. Hello, sir. <laughs> ah! oh, fuck! Jesus Christ, dude. God, I hate Dark Bramble so much. God, I hate it, dude. It's li it's the worst. It's the worst. It's 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 the worst. Dark Bramble's the worst. Man, I hate Dark Bramble. It was the Quum. God, I hate it. All right, get your get your doodles out with your fires. Yeah, I like fish calling you. Love me a good dark bramble. What's up, Raz? Fuck my life, dude. Dark Bramble, where are you at? 
Where are you at, Dark Bramble? There it is. Depends on the soundtrack. It's very good. It is uh, iconic, I'd say. You know, I, it's not something I would like listen to or like maybe like use in my videos. It's not something that's like really evokes like a lot. Like it's not like you know, it's not like Sonic R or like um, or like Fire Emblem Three Houses um, or like some like Legend of Zelda, like Ocarina of Time or stuff. Where it's like you really, really like recognize. It's not like you know. But, how do I put it? Like, it's one of those, if you know, you know, and it sets the tone so well. You know? Oh, whoops, I overshot. Fuck! One way to go. Um. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, what I was trying to say is that it has, like, a nice ambiance to it. Which really sets the tone for, like, Quoom again! Wow, we're getting so lucky with that. Um, I think Quoom's bad luck. It doesn't have a, a soundtrack that you would listen to on your free time, in my opinion. Because it's not supposed to be. Like, what it does well, it does extremely well. Is I guess where I'm sort of like it, it, it matches the game where you don't notice it in a lot of times because you don't, you shouldn't notice it, but then when you do notice it, it's like you're like clearly intended to notice, and it just heightens your emotions that much more. He hates the soundtrack and thinks that's unbearable to listen to. Yeah, no, no, you got that. Yeah, yeah, no, no. If there's anything you should take from what I just said, it's that. <laughs> you not use autopilot? Yeah, I, I, I think it's more fun to play like this, or at least I like, I like to manually go for it. Cause I, I, I just, I just, I don't know. I like it. Oh fuck, shit. Fuck. Damn it. Are you serious? Maybe I should use autopilot. All right, what's broken? What seems to be the issue? The worst pilot. I'm the best pilot there ever was. Does it help that, you know? Dark Bramble keeps moving. Do I make sure my headlights work? <laughs> there we go. God, I'm having so much fun playing this, dude. Should I play this game? Wait, Trey, I thought you already played this game. Wait, Trey, you haven't played this? Wait, Trey, you haven't played this? Trey, I am not even finished with this, and it has to be one of my all-time favorite games I think you would love it. I, you know what? Not even that. I would love, like, I'm being selfish. I'm going to pause. I just literally, I, we're going to pause the entire stream. Tr I'm going to be selfish and say, tr like, like I am, I am biased when I tell you to play this. Nor, nor, like, because I just want to, I want to watch you play it. <laughs> like you specifically. <laughs> like, like, like it is, such a it's it's such a good game and if you could do me a favor and stop watching my stream <laughs> so you don't get spoiled 
<laughs> because I'm kind of in the end game right now with some like high like high level information. I didn't mean to pause the stream. No, no, no. This is so important to me. All right, no, no. This is this is like this is worth it to pause the stream. I swear to God. All right, like 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 like. It is such a good game, and, and the progression in this game is not about like oh I completed the dungeon, I completed this puzzle, whatever. Progression is dealt with knowledge. So it's like you learn information about the world and that leads you on. That's one of the reasons why it's like so sp like so special. It's, it's cuz like you learn something and it changes your world view. And then you learn something else and it changes it again and again and again until you, you know, figure out whatever it is. Uh so yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to I'm going to keep keep going. Um but um Trey, please for the love of God, if I could ask anything of you besides reading one piece. <laughs> it would be to play this game. Uh, game Boy, thanks for the uh, one year. Oh, I love Trey. He's awesome. All right. All right, I'm willing to slingshot my way in. so good. I overshot a little bit. I can outrun him. Directionally, it's difficult. What is that? What the hell is this? Are those anglerfish eggs? Oh my god. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, no, 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 uh uh. I, uh, uh, nah, uh, uh, you don't do that. You do not mess with the eggs. Oh, yo, you mess with the egg limits. You do not mess with the eggs. <laughs> this is not, this is not the caviar that I would like to eat. happens when I hit one of the eggs.
I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. I'm very scared. fish up there. Is it coming towards me? Dude, I'm, I'm terrified. I don't do scary things. I said, I said, I, I looked at the distress signals. Not because I was looking for distress beacons. It's because I'm the one who's distressed. There's an anglerfish to the right of me. Oh. I went to the... Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. I'm in a cycle. How do I get out? I have a fun idea. I know one I know one way out guys and I don't want to I don't like it I don't like it hello god it's so fucking creepy god it still scared me and I knew it was happening I knew I knew it was happening and it still scared me I I was the one who scared it I was the one who I found eggs though. <laughs> I don't know what that that use is. Chad, do you guys think I could finish this today? Yeah, okay. Did I discover anything? I did not. Okay. Well, let's go uh, back to Dark Bramble and figure out what the fuck is happening. What's the point of the game? Uh, to gain knowledge. Uh, I don't want to... I, I, I guess it's my stream, so... Um, we're stuck in a time loop, and we're trying to explore why, how, how to exit the time loop, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, basically, finding out what's happened to an old alien race, I guess. Speed runs less than 20 minutes, so it can't take that long. Oh, that's funny. Will this be a video series? It's on the VOD channel if you want to watch all the other parts. All right, I gotta. I, I think I can do Dark Bramble pretty well here. I just like I, I I made it to eggs, but I don't understand the significance of that yet.
run, run, please! Christ! I know, I thought I, I was right through his teeth like floss, my guys. <sighs> Alright, get your marshmallows out. Sit by that fire, chat. Yeah, roast the mental trauma away. Okay. Alright, at least I have this like under lock on like how to how to go about this. Uh good question actually. Uh I know RT played this game. How long did it take RT to play? Like to, to finish? I think our total play time's about 14 hours right now. 16? No, no, our my total play time's 18 right now, I think. I was just curious. Twelve ish, please get the lot. Which is totally okay. There's a lot there's a lot to 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 do here. speed run this <laughs> go as fast as possible Okay, we're good. That makes sense. <gasps> yeah, anything that makes a sound. Forgot about that, guys. Forgot about that. Take the safe route? I, I don't think that exists. I don't think the safe route exists when it comes to uh, Dark Bramble. Glad you guys could sit around the fire with me, guys. Thanks for that. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doodle's a follower emote now, too. Uh, Doodle's, uh, Doodle's a follower emote. So uh, you guys can all use Doodle now. Uh, if you follow my stream. Uh, we did that, I think, two days ago. Why don't you eat them before they eat you? You know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great idea, even. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should just eat the anglerfish first. Uh, I think it's like, what? So, so now, follower emotes. Twitch just did this. So, follower emotes you can use in my channel if you follow. But if you're also if you're also subscribed, now you can use follower emotes anywhere, too, on Twitch, which was a change that I I don't know why they didn't do the first time, but we'll take it. The Spencer, thanks for the three months. Yeah, I'm glad they made it. Really? Yeah. So if you're a subscriber, you can use my follower emotes anywhere on Twitch. Increase my speed as much as possible.
What are you trying to find? That's the beauty. I don't know. We're exploring. Dispenser, thanks for the three months. Inspector Snickers, thanks for the gifted sub. Lightly. There's the eggs. Now, the thing is, I don't know why... what significance these eggs have yet. I just know they exist. Okay, so that one leads to a loop. What about this one? This one also leads to a loop? Those lead to loops. How about this one? Okay, that's uh, not. And then, but these are these are all. Like we just came from these. And these three are um, also anglerfish. Dunk, thanks for the 18 months. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. I got to remember some things about Dark Bramble. Okay. Uh, Dark Bramble, uh, the vessel. Uh, a ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Shelter site. Uh, uh, is brittle hollow stuff. Okay. Um, ocean depths, Bramble Island, Feltzbar's camp. Uh, they crashed the ship and now I'm camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feltzbar doesn't think the tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Um, Feltzbar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. There's been during the relatively peace and quiet. Um, seed has already taken root. Harmonica music when I enter the seed. Seed is much bigger on the inside. Frozen jellyfish is for something else. Okay, so I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Um, I think I'm supposed to go elsewhere. Not the eggs yet. One second. You know. <laughs> yeah, chat, chat, chat. Whenever we, re whenever we respawn, if you guys want to campfire with me, that'd be sick.
I actually haven't been to Hollow Lantern <laughs> yet. Um, well, I don't think there's anything there. Yeah, I know I'm not talking too, too much during this all. I'm more like calm when I play this game. Genuinely, it's because I'm really, really invested in making like in the game itself. It feels like I'm playing offline some of the times. It feels more like an alt stream sometimes. <laughs> Um, mainly I think too, uh, we're going to dive in the sun. Nope. Mainly I think it's also because, um, I, uh, I don't have TTS on. Uh, I love TTS actually. I, I've like fallen in love with the idea of TTS. I think it's so funny. Uh, it's literally like what's made some of my videos like just so fun. Um, but, um, uh, so I wanna, I wanna, sorry, not but. Uh, so I wanna dive a little bit deeper on like my main content with it. So it feels, it feels weird to not have like TTS on every now and then. But yeah, it's not for everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here, and then I'm going to slow the fuck down. Okay, that's an anglerfish. That is not an anglerfish. Not an anglerfish. Okay. Yeah, I know the IO no TTS stream is hilarious. Exactly. That's being edited right now, actually. I should have a uh, final. I should have a draft of that tonight, actually. I'm trying to get it out before Christmas. Scout is only in one location, not two. Boring tugboat, thanks for the 17 months. Oh, what the fuck is this moving? Is this moving thing? Ah, oh, shit. The angler fish down there? Check over here. Another angler fish. Right in the mouth. Wait, so the only actual viable spot is like there's only one answer. And it's to go right in the middle here. Is that the
have an idea. I don't like the idea, but I have an idea. What if the anglerfish eat the eggs? Maybe, 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 maybe I need to prep that a little bit better. <laughs> I need to prep that a little bit better. <gasps> no. It's like it's like tradition. You have to roast a marshmallow every single time you go. Like like you like, are you playing Outer Wilds if you don't like do the the ceremon uh, ceremonial marshmallow? Let's 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 be honest. You'll see when the game's done. Maybe, we will see. Most likely, yes. I'll say. Um, it, it's I can't guarantee it. Invasive maneuvers. Shoom. Come on, tell me that wasn't sick. Why is this one different? Hey, Jeremy, thanks for the 28 months. Thank you. For that tier two as well. My God, I'm the one who pays you. <laughs> God, they really make you just go for the anglerfish. It's horrifying. might be far enough. Okay, so no. They can't eat the eggs, but damn, interesting. Well, fuck. <gasps> Quoom! Look at the Quoom! Yo, the Quoom!
by Quill. I didn't know that could happen. That's sick. I'll miss the Quoom forever. I feel like anybody who, who plays Outer Wilds, who's also watched my Outer Wilds playthrough, will now just call it the Quoom forever. <laughs> like... <laughs> Just be like, literally, it's like the gloom, and just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> What's the gloom? It's the quantum moon. All right, let me ask you guys this, chat. With the current knowledge I have, am I able to quote unquote solve Dark Bramble? Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't it be Quoon? Yeah. But then, like, it just turned into Quoon. For some reason. It used to be Quoon. And then it, it just, like, I don't know when it did, but Quoon just happened. You know? All right. All right. I'm very bad at math. Thanks for the four months. Come on, tell me that's it. Come on, tell me that's a good joke. different spot I make sure I'm avoiding the anglerfish. I know there's one here. What's this light? Oh, here it is. It's in here. Is this the vessel? This, this seems to be like one of the escape pods. I don't know if it's the vessel itself, but... Or it could be like the, the warp core or whatever it is. Okay. Time to explore! Escape pod three. Okay, so this isn't the vessel. This is escape pod three.
Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. Okay, so these guys were on the vessel. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Zeka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. Oh, the vessel doesn't have a distress beacon. Here's the ship log. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay. Escape pod three. Uh, vessel uh, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from the vessel. Now launching escape pod three. Multiple collisions have altered the pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Scanning, uh, oh, fuck. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Do not exit pod. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, this pod can have so many people in it. I think if it's so many people in this pod, there's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it'll be gone and we will be lost. We'll follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Okay, so the lights lead to the vessel. Emergency escape hatch. Don't want to open that yet. Yeah, I just watched that. Thanks for the 14 months. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. Held out as long as we could here, but this pod supply of breathable air is nearly... And I've already read this. Yo! What's going on, Barreled? The space game's good. I think we might be able to finish it. Good today. <laughs> Whoopie, dude. Yeah, I'm scared. I hate Dark Bramble so much. So, 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 so much. Also, this is one of the best games of all time. In, in case, in case there's any doubt in the world. Follow the, <laughs> follow the light brick road but not too fast because there's anglerfish here oh what I there's a bunch of nomai here Oh, one has a one has a log. What's up, Joe? They all died. To anyone who came here searching for us. We followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, and now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this th thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through. 
I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to be able to manipulate the space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon will we be unable to hear it. There's nothing we can do but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. And they did. And they did. And that's why they were able to, you know, reach this universe and then prosper. This was ages ago that this happened. Brittany, thanks for the 31 months. Oh, they're hugging. Oh. Well. The duplicate signal is... <gasps> is that the vessel? to stop the signal there. There we go. Alright, guys. Let's go to the vessel. more kilometers to go guys everyone be quiet See the one to the left there too. <laughs> you see the one to the left? I panicked. I panicked, chat. Because I, I blame you guys. I directly blame you guys. You want to know why? It's because one of you guys spoke. It was one of you guys that tipped him off. It wasn't me. I wouldn't have done that. Good news, though. We have more time. Yeah. Maybe you guys just want a marshmallow uh, roasting stream. Maybe that's why. Can you roast me a marshmallow? Ooh. Oh, we're, we're, we're on a time crunch. But after this, I got you, Maisie. Also, I got your text, Maisie. I just haven't answered it yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. I feel like like I feel like that's let's it's how like most like people come into my chat. 
um, they'll be like, hey, Eric, how's the how's stream going? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I haven't answered your message yet. I will soon. I, I don't know if that's relatable or not, but uh, uh, let me open up Twitter. There, yeah, I just posted this. Uh, yeah, I have... Okay, so Spooky has 4,669 emails that aren't opened, unopened emails. I have 19,276 emails that aren't opened. And then Purple Clip just at me um, and said, uh, double it and pass it on. Um, and uh, he has 34,508. At least I know the general location of where the vessel is. I did that so I can get momentum into here. <laughs> okay, it's generally up this way, isn't it? Like up, it's like over here. I, I tried. I, it was worth a shot, you know? I just goes, thanks for the three months. Because, cause, like, I dodged it with the eggs, you know? Gonna eject. Yeah, but not really on, con like, well, I'm not on console. Not really with, like, a controller, right? All right, that one's for Maisie. Check Twitter replies. <laughs> Are you the one with 60,817 unopened emails? <laughs> All right. I feel like it's like understandable to have 19,000. Like, 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 I, I think that's like understandable and you can like relate a little bit. Cause like, I have like one of my emails is like public, you know, it's, it's like, it's a very public facing email. Boy, how do you, what's your excuse? Yeah, it's pointcrow at epicgamer.com. Send me all your scams. All right, here we go. Nice chill stream to, to end off Q4, you know? We get so many credit card offers, dude. Dude, I imagined. I signed up for 14 credit cards to just to see what would happen. <laughs> Killer idea, man. 
I'm telling you right now. It's a killer idea. Credit rating speed run. How fast can I get a... A, a 100? Eric, I need to know for my sanity and my dreams. Was the person in the American Eagle video a real com uh, customer? No, I was actually like super nervous about that when we filmed it, uh, the American Eagle uh, video. So we came in like really early, um, and I, I wanted to like make sure that no customers were like actually involved, <laughs> and then also like that all of the um, like workers. Like, you know, like the, the hourly workers were just like not like heavily involved, or only involved as much as they want to be. Because like, come on, they're hourly workers, you know, like, like retail, you know? It, it was kind of like, I, I felt like I, I didn't want to like, Uh, I, I don't want to bother them, you know, the uh, customer service stuff. Okay, so it should, the vessel should be over here, right? Do I have to do the whole, no, I don't, I, I, the whole signal again? Fuck, I don't want to do the whole signal again. It makes it easier. Yeah, but what if I just like, I don't do that, you know? One second, chat. You're back.
Hi. Uh, that was uh, uh, that was Nance uh, coming by to drop off um, some Christmas presents. I had her uh, go out and and and, and get some um, stuff sh for my family. Oh, Nance was being super helpful and uh, helping out. Um, cause cause I I'm I'm stuck here stuck here i'm streaming plus also uh um editing videos and everything like all day just uh, it's basically stuck at my computer so she was super awesome and, and went out and and uh i i told her what to get and then, and then she she got it so um yeah super awesome of nance to do that fish over there. Alright, chat, do you think I can find it? Or do you think I'm kind of, like, fucked? Hi. There's no shot at six me in the brambles. I can lose it. Yeah, I need to find this. Not cat. Thanks for the ten months. Where the fuck is the vessel? <laughs> God damn it, dude. How close are these guys? game is this it's it's right below the title um it's outer wilds hard to how do i how do you explain outer wilds in five seconds we're trying to find out what happened to an alien race and uh i kind of got lost a little bit here now, the issue about being lost is um, trying to find something. And it's actually very difficult to find. And, because um, I used to have like a little beacon, but I no longer have said beacon. So it makes it a lot more difficult.
He's coated with the sauce. Let's go. Oh. He's coated with the sauce. Did I just unintentionally find it? <laughs> did I just... Did I just unintentionally find it? Okay, that's funny. I didn't know you could exit. All right, well. Now I'll do it the regular way. Uh, distress beacon. Escape pod three is up. Now the bonk. <laughs> now the lights. This way. The Dark Ramble Sea. Reminds me of Subnautica. A lot of people have been saying that. This is an interesting observation. I mean, I guess it makes sense, you know? Oh, oh, I just hit the dead bodies. <laughs> probably exploration, probably that. And like kind of discovering like your your goal is knowledge a little bit. Where okay. I was like where are they? Okay. Me, bro, thanks for the my two months. I was literally right next to it. Yeah. I didn't know it was like an actual thing. Whoa, dude. Here it is. The, the vessel.
the dead bodies. Yikes. I'm sorry the interloper had to do this to you. Or did this to you. This. this is the warp core. What the fuck does this do? Do I have to hit all of them? Oh. Oh, I have to make a certain symbol. Stop moving. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What did that do? Okay. I got to figure this out in a second. Should be a wall here with some lore. There is. Okay, right, here we go. <laughs> Oopsies, not that. When I know my clans whose vessels can hear this message, it's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. <laughs> So my clan and I believe that the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the glo the if you can reach the gloaming galaxy, you found that Black Rock's suns are fairly fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in a relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, you uh, know you will be on your own. Canna, we're making our way to you. Bit. Didn't mean to do that. Good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was already on our way to our vessel, but they never arrived. He hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me uh, of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched it and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told a story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? It happened a very long time ago, but yes. My clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. So I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Uh, not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of Bright Spark star system exploded. It was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. I believe uh, your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Oh. I mean, I think we kind of already knew this, but the universe is dying. Like, the entire universe is dying. And they're trying to search for... Um, and they're trying to search for... Uh, like, a, a star system that exists that isn't dead. Oh, there's another thing, too. Oh, yo, you can roll? I just... Since when? Yo, that's so helpful. I didn't know you could do that. You hold L and then you and then you and then you roll. That's crazy. Uh, this is Eskel's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp. And oh. And our war uh vessel is mortally wounded. 
Uh, we need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel, our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. We are banding our vessel. Any Nomai clans or space flight capable species reaching this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Wait, so Eskol's vessel existed. Huh. Hey, look, 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 I can roll. Huh. I know you can do that. That's crazy, man. That makes that makes this so much easier to like traverse. Did not go the wrong way. This is the only way I can go. Hold and then roll. What the fuck? That's so useful. Sorry, I'm just enamored by the, by the fact I can roll. That's crazy, man. Who knew? Pick up warp core. Broken warp core. I don't know where I put this thing. Is that the sign of the eye of the universe? It is. Can I put this down somewhere, please? Can I, can I put this down somewhere real quick? <laughs> I'm recording this now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal of uh, the signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our very first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Esco, wait. I, I need more time to send an outgoing message. Should we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This is extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose or discover this incredible. Focus on preparing for a warp instead. I understand. I know what. Is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered. This will be a significant jump. After Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. This shouldn't create a problem. Provided we arrive at or, at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. We'll explore more later. Huh. So this is not the vessel that... Th this is Eskel's vessel. That's what I'm getting from this. 
and they traveled to the eye of the universe. That was that was the signal they received. Right. No, that makes sense. And it wasn't like a planned voyage like voyage. Well, it was a plan so so what happened, it looks like, is that the they weren't escaping anything. Well, sort of. They were escaping the death of the universe. There were a bunch of star systems that kept getting destroyed and destroyed and destroyed and destroyed and destroyed because their stars were dying out. And so on their way to the gloaming galaxy or whatever it was called, Eskel, or, or on their way to whatever it was, um, Eskel's ship receives a, um, a, a be not a beacon, but like a, 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 a signal from something older than the universe itself, which was the eye of the universe. So they immediately were like, fuck it, let, let's just go. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. And then they went, and presumably they found the eye of the universe, or, no, they didn't find the eye of the universe. They didn't, right? Because the moment they warped, they lost sight of it probably, right? So then they got stuck with Dark Bramble or whatever. We're still figuring that out. Um, and that's what spawned everybody trying to find the eye of the universe, Throughout this entire thing, with all of the observatories, um, with all of the hopes, dreams, everything, with with all the the probes and everything, just trying to find that. That's that's what happened, I think. Nice. There we go. Okay. Let me... I see some people are trying to tell me if I'm wrong or right. I don't want to know. Why would you tell me I'm wrong or right? I'm not, I'm not asking if I'm wrong or right. This is this is me theorizing. I don't wanna know. T Stubbs, thanks for the four months. Thank you. Okay. Let me try again. Let me find the vessel again. Because we still need to discover more of this. There's definitely more there. So you need to do the same thing to go back. Oh, I might have I might have uncovered everything. You're right. Okay, pod three. No, my grave, the vessel. Nope. We discovered everything, it looks like. Okay. So, I found the derelict No, my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. Oh, no. There is something still. Um, I activate a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. The No, my tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. Vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. Right. Uh, the remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response of impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear so they work before they can tell another clan where they're going. Wait, I'm confused with Eskel and everything. Survivors from Escape Pod 3 follow the two vessel beacons to a small dark bramble seed where they could go no further. Family hear the vessel's beacon, but the opening was too small. He was dying. Reset pillar of the vessel's bridge that appeared to be some sort of input device. Yeah, but I don't I don't know what the input is yet. I don't understand this with Eskel. So the vessel can still hear um, incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in, in response to the pending death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was Eskel's vessel.
Yeah, this was Eskel's vessel, and they tried to find the Eye of the Universe. No, this was it. No, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Um, okay. So I guess all that's left. Chat, um, I'll, I'll leave this to you guys once again. Do we go back to the vessel, or do we try the Ash Twin Project? Ash Twins? Okay. Ash Twins it is. I gotta figure out the Ash Twin project. Right. Let me, let me, let me go back. I like the rumor system here. I think it's really good. I think it's really awesome. Uh, the central chamber inside the Ash Twin is physically sealed off by a protective shell. Um, constructed tri technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval. Every memory recorded is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. The advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. Um, Ash Twin's pros, uh, proposes location. So it's somewhere in Ash Twin. God, what a cool game, dude. What a cool game. Hey, if you like the stream so far and uh, you're not following the stream, hey, feel free to follow the stream. I know it's not my regular content or anything, um, but I am very passionate about this. For no other reason other than it's fun. Let's see. How do we get back to the high energy lab really fast? Well, I probably won't be able to. Yeah, you know what? I think we I think we go back to the. Um, yeah, I think we go do the Easter egg real quick because Ash Twin isn't going to be open for some time. So let's go do the Easter egg real fast. If you guys feel me, because we have to, we have to wait for Ash Twin. Argon Glow, thanks for the nine months. Thank you. I beat this game two hours before my son was born. That's actually extremely wholesome, and I love that. December second, two thousand nineteen. Aww. Aww. Also, welcome into the stream. Or first time chat, at least. You know, welcome in. Oh, right. We have to go through all this again. That's fine. Oh, right. We also have to wait here, too. Right? Yeah, we do. We do have to wait. Unless there's a way to, like, get past the... Um... I mean, there might be. No. Okay. <laughs> like, maybe there's, like, a way to get past the, uh, the cacti without waiting. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna waste my fuel. Yeah. Hey, my sushi's here. I ordered some sushi, because why not, you know? Uh, we might be able to get out a uh, YouTube video today, too. Um, for all the Breath of the Wild fans out there, I think there's gonna be one va uh, available tonight. Um, it's, it's depending there, there, there might be some edits and changes, but it's a possibility. Uh, so that'll be fun. Didn't Abby say not to order sushi? No, she said to not order oysters. 
difference. How's the multiplayer mod for Breath of Wild going, if I can ask about it? Uh, it's going okay. It's going pretty well. There was a little bit of a snag that we um, um, unfortunately had that prevented us from... I was going to stream like uh, a, a decent amount of it for Q4 and stuff. But unfortunately, there was a little bit of a... Um, um, a little bit of a, a thing that... Oh, wait. How do I do this again? Shit. Um, uh, a little snafu, some bugs that we didn't have, uh, that weren't, like, intended. That we were like, ah, damn. So we, 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 we're, we're getting there. Um, it's, it's not ready for public release yet, but I'm, I'm looking to hopefully do it s as soon as possible, you know. Afterlight, thanks for the six months. Thank you. Thanks for giving the mod, you rule. Thanks. Uh, there's only like some uh, it's only a little bit of, of, of you know I can take credit for like some things um, I mean obviously all of the credit goes towards um, Alex and sweet uh, who are the developers of the uh, breath of the wild multiplayer mod um, I, I just <laughs> the only thing I could really do is like just take credit for some incentivization <laughs> of like making it go by a little bit faster um, Making go by a little bit faster with uh, um, some uh, moolah, some money. All right, uh, chat. Can you tell me the hint for the um? Also, yeah, I also you know manage it, so I prioritize like things for content and and, and things for balance, etc. You know. All right. So what was the hint you guys gave me again? Be curious. All right, I'll take it. So we got the black hole. I love the kazoos. I, I there's no, that's so funny. I broke the fabric of space time. I I killed the universe. Alright. We did it guys. We destroyed the fabric of the universe. Eric, consider stopping right now. <laughs> True. I could just have that be the end. <laughs> I could just be like, well, shit. <laughs> and it was a good run, <laughs> but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Maybe I did get the true ending, you know? Would this be your highest kill count? Yeah, I think it would be. Oh. 
I did that with Chainsaw Man stopping in episode 7. Oh, you... Oh, God. You gotta read Chainsaw Man. Oh, you gotta read it. Flat, I'm telling you. I don't know if you're into manga or anything, but even if you're not, like, you gotta read it. Chainsaw Man? Oh, my God. Like, the entire... The entire... I'll, I, this isn't spoilers or anything. The entire anime, like, what it's gonna end on and everything, is set up. It's, it's straight up set up. I actually don't know. Uh, well, actually, I, I could guess where the anime ends. Uh, I haven't watched the last episode because um, I'm waiting for Abby. Um, but yeah, it's like like the anime, what it's shown so far is literally just set up for um, the next the next stuff. There's, there's one arc that I think is one of my favorite arcs ever. In, in, in manga history. It made me cry. <laughs> I guess you could say it was the um, the bomb.com. All right, let me go get um, Shushi real quick. What happened? What happened? Where's Ash Twin? Oh, it's on the other end, isn't it? There it is. You parked in the Ash's path? Oh, there's no way. That's hilarious. What are the odds? <laughs> So chat, 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 chat. Um, so I know, I think, I think, I, I popped in uh, while I was um, getting, uh, I opened my phone and everything. And uh, I saw that Trey was looking at games on Steam. I'm just saying, you know, this might be your opportunity to ask Trey. Don't spam, but like, in case he's not convinced already to play this game, this may be your opportunity because he's looking at games right now. To be like, hey, it's fifteen dollars on Steam. Uh, but but if he says no, then then take the no, all right? Like if if, if keep, keep that in mind. If if Trey says no to it, then don't convince him to. <laughs> all right. He wasn't considering Outer Wilds. Okay. If he's not considering it, then 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 don't force him to. It's a, it's a game that I feel like you need to want to play. Like you, you, you know, you got to get the hype uh, about it a little bit. Okay, one second. I'm uh, eating sushi while we're waiting for Ash Twin to settle. Which, by the way, really cool design uh, uh, of all of these planets. I really love it. Like, they're all unique in their own ways. And they all have things for you to, like, look at and discover. Like, you start with being like, oh, that's so sick. That's so neat. And then, like, you slowly, like, like get more. It, like, it's more and more unhinged of, like, holy shit, dude. What the fuck happened? 
tell him to play the first 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, play uh, play the first. Yeah, well, you gotta say 30 minutes because you gotta you gotta expect like a death, you know. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's gonna watch the trailer? No, oh, wait, that's gonna spoil it, right? Oh, shit. Does that, does that spoil it? The trailer's okay? Okay. The trailer's okay? Okay. Where is the tray? The architect. Fuck yeah, bud. <clears throat> Outer Wilds was a good one. Trey's confused. This is Breath of the Wild. <laughs> They're all Breath of the Wild. Don't you know that by now? Every game both copied Breath of the Wild and is Breath of the Wild. He's right. He's right. I thought I thought I thought everybody knew that by now. Wait, what year did this game come out? Can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom to come out just so everybody can call it a Breath of the Wild ripoff. <laughs> Outer Wilds is entirely worth it. All right, I will also buy Outer Wilds. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! <clears throat> I will also buy Outer Wilds. Breath of the Outer Wilds. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, drop. We did it. We've done it. I hope he enjoys. The thing is, I know my boy, he loves story games. He's also like, you know, he loves story games. Puzzle games are like, eh, okay for him, if I recall. Um, so, I hope, uh, I hope he enjoys. I, I hope I have not st steered him wrong. And in the case I've steered him wrong, I will fully refund the fifteen dollars <laughs> for the game. <laughs> I think he doesn't like getting super frustrated. Yeah, yeah, oh, of course, of course. And I don't think the game is frustrating. There, it can have its frustrating moments, for sure. Like my God, but. I think it's super easy to like get back on track if you're like, hey chat, give me a hint. You know. Do you read One Piece for do you play Kingdom Hearts yet? It's the opposite. I need to start playing Kingdom Hearts first for him to start reading One Piece. So oh. Um, I need I'm I'm the one who needs to start first. So far so good with Ashwin. I mean, there's nothing we need to do yet. Like, unless I'm missing like something with Ashwin. I hope Outer Wilds exp uh, spreads some more content creators so it gets more exposure. Like, I could do like an APB of like, yo, hey guys, play Outer Wilds. The issue is, it's real, like Outer Wilds as a game is fucking fantastic. Outer Wilds as a game for stream is awful. <laughs> like, it, it almost could not be worse of a game to stream. So, that's why I, I, that's one of the reasons why it's it's hard for, you, for people to play it. Like, as a game that is not um, like, like a YouTube video. R reason being, it's not because you're not enjoying it. Um, it's because let's say you're someone who's new coming in watching a content creator someone who's completely new 
all of that knowledge, all, the, the past like 18 hours of knowledge we've gained, you have to figure out in like five seconds or you're just going to leave. Yeah. The only people who want to watch other, uh, Outer Wilds streams are people who've already beaten it and want to watch it through someone else's eyes. Exactly. So it takes a lot of previous knowledge. So like if, if like the, your, the most popular streams you'll see are streams where you can like pop in and you know exactly what's happening or it's intriguing enough where you're like, oh, I wonder what's happening. So with something like Outer Wilds where we're literally waiting for Ash Twin, um, it's like right now, this is not a moment where you're like, what's going to happen? Or like, I wonder what's happening. Also, yeah, the problem is that the, the, the other problem is that the the it's it's such a good game that a lot of people are like also being like no 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 don't watch this go play it yourself <laughs> it's like no 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 there's like a slight discouragement for watching which i've never seen ever and i totally support by the way like i you know as 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 incentivized as as incentivized as i am to keep you here as much as, as long as possible you know You pass time 10 times faster at campfires? Really? But anyways, you know, it's like, uh... That's why. So it's not a good game to stream. Alright. Ash Twin Project. lead me to victory question mark where would I find the Ashton project I can't there's no opening so I need to find a place to like teleport me there you know you feel uh one second It also doesn't help that for me, I specifically, like, really... I keep pausing because uh, I'm eating. Uh, it, do it also doesn't help that, like, when I play this game, rather than be like, okay, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're explaining, all this stuff. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, dude. Like, I'll read all the dialogue and everything. But, like, you feel... Um, sensation we right around this. The woe feels more natural. Oh, of course. That's explaining it all. Wait, well, we haven't been in there. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to get in from the bottom. might be mm. trying to find out right there, there there's there has to be a way for me to transport down into the core what I'm assuming is the core of ash twin to find the ash twin project we'll say this playthrough has been so amazing yeah, that's one of the reasons why I kept continuing it is because so many people ended up enjoying it. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I have to in like the best way. Like you get me. Yeah, like I, I can't, I, I also like can't wait to like experience my first playthrough, or rephrase, experience my first watching someone else's playthrough playthrough. 
Like, come on, you know? Oh! I use the Ash Twin Teleporter. Duh. I, I'm like, oh, how do I teleport to Ash Twin? If you're on Ash Twin, you tell you use the Ash Twin Teleporter. That makes sense. Weird, uh, weird World, Weird World One. What a name! Thanks for the Prime. Tongue twister. All right, I just need to find the Ash Twin one. You, you ever have those just like moments where you're like, whoa, <laughs> like you feel. <laughs> Or, or, or you just like a random thought of like, that, that makes so much sense, it's that. I feel like that's like half this game for me. <laughs> of like, it just clicks. And it's a good feeling too. All right, I'm looking for the Ash Twin ones. Salt Sphinx, it's the prime. Uh, it should be a duo. Not this one. What? I thought the Ash would okay, maybe maybe I just literally skipped it. The Ash Twin Towers are the Twin Tower. Are they not here? Oh, shit. Can you repeat that one more time? I will not. <laughs> oh, it's up here. Why did I not see those this before? All right, which one's which is the next question. I feel like it's obvious if you look at them. Um, as much as I want to say it's obvious, it is not. Playing the Ashwin Project, Big City, Austin Ember Twin. Is it this one? Well, how do I teleport to the Ash Twin one? No, no, this one's the Amber Twin. It's because of the cactus. This one's the Ash Twin. Uh, departure time. Ah, oh, 
Oh, fuck, this is Ember Twin. Ah, oh, shit. All right, now we wait, I guess. But wait for what? I'm looking well done. Shut the fuck up, chat. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. How do you teleport into your own... Like, this isn't gonna work, right? It's like, oh, you, you know, like, it, it, it's like right there. How do you teleport into your own, um, uh, like, thing? You know what I'm talking about? The fuck? My own what? Oh, wait, do I have to have the, oh, maybe it's like this. Cause like technically that's like the ash now or something. I don't know. Well, shit. You can't make that up. You can't make that shit up. <laughs> what a way to go. What the fuck, dude? How do I how do I teleport to Ash Twin? Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I don't use, but no, I feel like you do use the Ash Twin one. <gasps> now passed out after hearing the first note. Duh. <laughs> Gone. What is dozing off? Does, does this increase my time? Oh, it does. Um, hate it when we tell you you're wrong, but what do you think about telling when you're correct? Just don't tell me anything. <laughs> Just smile. <laughs> you know, if you give me knowledge in any way, that's pretty much a spoiler. <laughs> Just enjoy the stream as it goes. Or laugh at me is also like a really good one. <laughs> you could also just like laugh at me. Uh, X Maniac, thanks for the two months of Prime. Thank you. You notice when you asphyxiate, you gasp for air at the start? I didn't know that actually. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Bum. Even if you're missing vital info. Yep. Let me suffer. You know? Like, the more I suffer, the, the more fun it will be. If you feel me. 
Because then, like, when I figure it out, that's when it's like, damn. You know, damn. Right. Ashwin Towers. Uh, towers. Uh, we use the model station for the Ashwin Project. The tower designs. Oh, that's nice. That's helpful. Each tower warps to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet, which is funny. Each tower is designed to visually reflect its warp uh, destination. Cool. Um, the towers allow to travel between Ash Twin and all the other locations, crucial to the Ash Twin. Okay. So, this one's the Ash Twin, right here. Is transmitted central chamber. No, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I think I do use the Ash Twin. Oh, did I not put on my suit? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Imagine dying to no suit again. All right. Hey, I've never done that before. I don't know what you're talking about. I do this if I keep getting sucked up. Right? Like, I'm going to keep getting sucked up here. He's gone the entire playthrough without autopilot? Yes. How the fuck do I do this? Hmm. I need to figure this out somehow. be like a logical conclusion. Like, you know? Like, you feel me?
I like the part where Mr. John Outer shows up and says it's wild in time before outering over all the wilds. Yeah, that's my favorite part too. Okay, what if I just like stay down with my thrusters? Uh, okay. That doesn't work. And, uh, don't pretend like it does. Shit. Can I take... Where's my ship? <laughs> Where's my ship? Also, is there something underneath? Ship it is. Maybe this is too complicated for what I'm supposed to be doing. It's the broken one, right? It's the broken Chat, this isn't the solution. Chat, this isn't the solution. This isn't it. <laughs> you can take a look at it and just, whoa, why the slowdown? Oh, what's happening? Jesus. And just immediately just recognize, like, maybe that's not how it should go. I've never gotten lag on this game except for that one time. you were playing Pokemon for a second there? I know, crazy, right? You'd think. Developers literally apologize for this part. Really? How the fuck do I do this? Try it like this. I think it's been apologies for has long been since patched. Gotcha.
It w Oh shit! Okay, that works. So, good news. I have found out that that is the solution. Or, rephrase. There is the solution, and the solution being that. Um, you guys ready for the, the song? Um, I just need to somehow stay down. Wait, 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 There's no more ash falling. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh my god, I, did I just miss it? There's no way this is right. Is there a way to like prevent the ash from rising maybe? Because, like, that's that's what the scout did. And I could, like, teleport if there was an ash rising. So I do know that using the ash twin for the towers is the solution. Like, is, is how I get inside for the ash twin project. Like, I, I've confirmed that. So at least I know I'm on the right track. Alignment angle, astral body, and oh, this is how you find out basically. Um, all the warp towers are being constructed, or the astral twin, all six warp receivers are being constructed at different locations. More core for the astral twin project. The mines didn't really come in handy, did it? Um, there are no longer any physical entrances for cracks. Um, discovered features of semi aquatic light forms in the waterways near the mine. The shell. No, this is just for the shell that exists. Statue workshop. Statues were designed once to activate, once to Ash Twins projects were succeeded, or in the event that it failed. Um, let's go to the mask. Okay. From Statue Island. High Energy Lab. Well, not only is this happening, that. Okay, Tower Designs, Ash Twin Towers, Sun Station. the hanging city um brittle hollow the city is divided vertically into four districts found a switch that raises and lowers the black hole forage no my debate how to obtain the powerful highly advanced warp core required for the ashton project 
Travels the solar system in pursuit of a signal from a, uh thinking right now there's two things one either i go to the black hole forge and then raise the black hole forge and then maybe that's why the ash twin like that's why the ash is doing for the ash twin project like maybe or um i go to the quomb and then use the quomb somehow on Ash, like to get to Ash Twin, but like, I don't know how that stops the Amber Twin from doing its stuff. Have the solar system pursuit of signal. Uh, it apparently occurs all in the solar system. Tritz camp, uh, seen usually a high number of supernovae recently, which is the universe dying. The only thing I have left is the shelter site and then the Ash Twin project. Chat. Oh, but I don't know if I want to ask for, like, a hint. It's so much more satisfying if I get it. Oh, the brain is turning, dude. Dude, the, the brain is literally, it, like, turning. Science for each of the towers on the Ashton Fraser. Um, each tower warps to a different planet. Eventually, we're at this warp destination. High energy lab. This is just about time. Escape pods were launched for something called the vessel, which was badly damaged, which we've already done. We've already seen three, two, and one. When survivors are crashing Bill Hall, we landed in the cliff. I mean, this could lead to it. Okay. The fact that the alignment angle diagram is, like, next to the black hole forge, me, like, makes me think that it's related. I know my minds just say, like, oh, you can't access it from the surface. The statue workshop is like lore explaining, especially with the 22 minutes. Ashton Towers is also that, which leads to the Black Hole Forge. So I think I need to go. I know you guys said I probably don't need to do the Black Hole Forge thing, but I, I, man, I think I got to. I think I need to. All of the warp towers were being constructed on Ashton, while six of the warp procedures were being constructed at a different location. Um, Poke successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. Okay, which means uh, this is on Brittle Hollow. Uh, Brittle Hollow, I think, is this one. Pretty sure it's this one. So let's go and do that to warp to Brittle Hollow. But I need the Ash Twin to be available. So I need to go sleep for a second. Oh God, my brain is breaking for this. This, it, 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 it seems like this is one of the last, like like the Ash Twin project um, seems like one of the last actual, um, um, it, it seems like one of the last puzzles that I need to solve. We're almost if, if like we're almost done with the game. I want to see the eye of the universe. <laughs> you know. Okay, let me. 
Uh, Indrigus Leon, thanks for the uh, seven months. Welcome back to the murder. Glad you are enjoying the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the follows too, guys. All right. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I'm glad you're enjoying uh, the stream. <laughs> Uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing this, and I always love doing puzzle games in this mind, like in, in, in this way, because it's like you know, I don't know. I like puzzle games. I like. I feel like I'm pretty good at them. I feel like it clicks pretty well for me. So it's just like also really fun. Uh, Ash twins, right? Ash twins, and then um, warp to. Um, Brittle Hollow. What I need to do. Will the VOD be on YouTube? Yeah, it always is. The only time when a VOD is not on YouTube is if something really bad happens during a stream, like I get doxxed, or um, if I'm going to make a YouTube video on it, in which case the video will be on the VOD channel um, when the video comes out. Oh shit 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 fuck That's fine This is my question from earlier. Yeah, I thought it was obvious, but uh the more people ask, the less I, I think it is I, the less I'm realizing or the right, the more people ask, the more I'm realizing that it's actually like not obvious the way I publish my VODs. But I feel like it should be. I don't. I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like it's obvious, but I understand if it's not, because it's like vods are just like recorded things. But normally, it's like some things don't always make it. So it's like, you know. I, I totally get it. Uh, maybe I'll make like a, a community post again, on like it. Shit, that's the sun one. Um. I don't know. Do community posts help? I know uh, people wanted me to post on my community tab for YouTube when I when they uh, wanted to know when I'm streaming. Oh, Brittle Hollow's not done yet. posts help a lot yeah um is it like just knowing when i stream like if you look if you're one of the people who look at the community posts and you're like yo poggers I don't know. <laughs> um uh is it because you want to know like when you look at the community post and you're like whoa point is streaming is it because like you're notified of when i stream or like what i'm streaming like what's uh what what butters your popcorn <laughs> yeah no exactly yo poggers that's that's what you guys sound like yeah is so so is it like when or sorry what okay so 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 when you look at the community posts for streaming is it useful to you because you know when I'm streaming or because you know what I'm streaming? Oh, no, I was replying to your question. What? So what I'm trying to say again is, um, no, 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 are you, you said you guys seem confused. Um, so, cause a lot of you guys are saying what? Uh, so, so let me explain it again. So when you look at my, <laughs> Do you want a bowl? Yeah, sure. Uh, if one of the mods can make a bowl real quick. On uh, YouTube community tabs, like how many, like, do you, do you look at the community tabs to know when I'm streaming or what I'm streaming? <laughs> you 
You know, I can't feel. I can't help but feel like I'm. 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 I'm missing something. Wasn't there something I was supposed to do before? Like. Oh my god! I was supposed to lower the black hole forge. Can I fly into the sun? <laughs> well, time to die. Yeah, there's no both option. You must choose. Now, chat, will it be asphyxiation, you think? Or do you think the sun's going to kill me? If you chose asphyxiation, you were really close. It's a photo finish. Hey, if that, that's what that's the way I want to go, guys. Not just asphyxiation, but you know, falling into the sun. I think it's a really, really good way to go. I think it's kind of underrated. You feel me? All right, vote in the poll chat. Participate in the group activity. My God. Oh, my gosh. He gasped. So that was asphyxiation, by the way. Do we get stickers? I will personally mail you participate in stickers. All right, 74% what point growth streaming? Okay. Shmank you. All right, you'll get participation stickers in three to five business. <laughs> in three to five business. Uh, Where's the poll? You missed it. Gotta be faster than that. All right, Brittle Hollow, where are you at? This, uh, this could be a giant waste of time. This could be an absolute colossal waste of time. There it is. Um, but it's worth a shot. Uh, easiest way to enter is that random outpost cropping thing. If I remember, it's been three weeks since I last played this. Uh, it should be like over here, I think. Well, gravity cannon's one way. Oh, I found it. Here it is. What are your current thoughts? Um, that's my that's my current thought. Hope that helps. A little profound, you know how it goes. I really do have a way with my words. Away with words. Um, how did I get it? How did I get that? It was like in here, right? It was. Where are we? Um, on Brittle Hollow. You'll see in a second how important this place is. 
All right, Black Hole Forge was in the Hanging City, if I remember. I say um and uh way too much. So much so where it like bothers me, <laughs> you know? So does everyone. No. Still though. I feel like I could be better about it. Because there's a lot of jokes that I tell on stream, a lot of bits that end up having to be edited or not posted at all because it takes me too long to get to the punchline because of all the uhs. Eric, why are you the model for Dead by Daylight's elf in the event? What? Yo, why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> uh, is this the the whole forge, right? All right, now I just need to get back up. Yeah, the Black Hole Forge is a bitch to get to. Like seriously, like awful. It, it like the worst. Now we have to make our way all the way back to our ship. Then we have to go warp. Please steal it. I'm too lazy to post it. Yeah, someone in chat can steal it. Detected. All right, here we go. All right, I'm very focused here. I want to make sure that we do this in a timely manner. I think we have to. All right, now to Ash Quinn. And we can't die halfway through, you know? You really know what your way around Brittle Hollow? Un yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I have... I have been on Brittle Hollow, I think, more than any other place. Because I kept dying, and I never knew how to get around. That was the... that was the Brittle Hollow was my first planet, and that's kind of how I learned what Outer Wilds was. Right, because I kept trying to find the Southern Observatory and I just couldn't. So I was like, is this the Southern Observatory? Is this the Southern Observatory? And none was the Southern Observatory? I'm a little bit too close to this. Yo, what's up, DuckTV? Change your name. Thanks for the eight months. Oh, shit. That's fine. All right. It's just my headlights and landing gear. Those aren't useful, right? Name a channel on YouTube I should sub to. Uh, Sandwich. It makes great content. And she's a great friend. This 
join where we're doing. We're all collectively at once doing your mom together. Oh shit, is my ship on? <sighs> Damn it, dude. I need that. All right, now we wait. Can I opt out of the mom orgy? <laughs> I have a wife. Oh. Um. No, she can join, though. While we're waiting, I guess I'm gonna eat. Get some foods. Ooh. Rather wild shipless speedruns go crazy. Wait. People play this without ships? What the fuck? How? That's crazy. People play this without the suit. I wonder how many challenge runs there are. I also want to say, um, shouts to Stine, one of my mods, who lives in like the EU, who's like literally staying up just to watch this. But like I like I, I think what like what my mods like pinged them, <laughs> just just to make like I, I they're probably asleep right now, um but like just to like just to make sure that they don't miss. How current are you on One Piece? I've been current since chapter 123. Okay. After this pass, we go to Brittle Hollow again. Wait. Shit. This doesn't... Does this lead us to... Um... I don't know if this leads me to the Black Hole Forge. I forget. Wait, shit. I don't know if it does. I forget if it does. How close are we to doing this to? Um, actually, pretty close. I forget if it does. I, I, I remember there was one thing I did. Um, oh, we might be covered by the moon. Oh, there it is. All right. Time to teleport. Oh, the lag. Oh, um, nope. It made it. We're good. Turn warp status charged. Uh, this is the time. Right. Black hole forge. Uh, we didn't discover everything here, if I remember. Uh, if, if I recall, we did not. Oh, and I'm pretty sure it was. We discovered this over here, but we didn't go over here, I don't think. Yeah, I don't remember this.
Exit to surface. Nope. You finished Elden Ring? Yeah, a while ago. Months ago. Black Hole Forge North. I've been here before. Make sure I stay on. <laughs> I don't want to leave. What did I miss here? Cautious near the boarding area while the black hole hole forge is in operation. Yeah. Grind warp towers. Does each tower have to be perfectly lined? Yes. Enjoy precision, but a tower is shifting slightly. It might not align anymore. Um, enjoy the precision. I said no line. Okay. We will need the alignment angle to be exact. It needs to be five degrees. Uh, this gives me a slightly longer warp window. It will last a couple seconds. Yeah. Maybe it was this? Where am I taking the first black hole core? Um, all of the warp towers have been constructed on Ash Twins, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Pope Clary, I'm leaving uh, for delivery. I'll send Yarrow uh, for your uh, regards. Uh, Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin. Just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course, you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so the deliveries will be a greater pain in your circle spine. Uh, the tower designs in the high energy lab on Amber Twin each receiver's location. Yeah. Is it this thing? Hi, Perugian. Thanks for the 11 months. Uh, no, Yaro believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. This is what we missed. Oh my god. This is literally what we missed. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate because it, uh, its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not, does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. You may recall that it was your understanding of warp tower technology at first. No, Yara understands the distinction. He likely doesn't rec realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a slight the shared alignment point in between them. Huh? Warp server never align overhead. Yeah. Yeah, it points towards the middle. But the middle... But the middle is like... The... Ash. That isn't an unreasonable belief given the receiver does have to be located on the relevant astral body. Yeah. You can recall that it was your understanding. Yeah. Your understanding the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point between them. Yeah. Then I, I already know this.
All right, let me go back to Ash Twin. Yeah, I figured that out on my own. Control Z yourself. Thanks for the 22 months. Sale, thanks for the eight months. Thank you. My ship's still on. Yeah, like I've con I've confirmed, like I already confirmed it with my um, scout launcher too. For Ash Twin. Like I've already confirmed it. That's my issue. It's like, I already know this fact. Be, it needs to be within five degrees. What if I just hide here? The sand goes, and then I just go in. Oh, he's a god tier genius! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't ask for any hints. Oh, I'm so happy about that. What is this place? Oh, this looks fucking wild. This is the core. The Ash Twin core. <gasps> this is the area. Oh my God, we're here. We're literally here. Seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds ago. Okay, so we have four minutes to read all of this and, and figure everything out. Okay. Received data from previous cycles. Mass receiving data from probe tracking module, giant steep memory, timber hearth. Right, so the probe tracking module, which was the probe going across for the eye of the universe. Right, Giant Steep, which is um, the other guy, um, Guild Haro or whatever his name is, and Timberhearth is us. Four minutes until end of cycle transmission. Gabro, that's what his name is. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, we got a lore dump here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got the biggest of lore dumps. <laughs> Today, we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on sig how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe Ramby's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent back the, uh, sent the warp core for the final tower to, uh, to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now the Ash Twin can be to the Giant's Keep, where Casanova is working with Avins to craft the orbital probe cannon, or, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kassava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important part is that we're all connected through the Ash Twin now. And also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your agreements. Disagreements. Oh, one second. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Sorry about that, guys. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Advin's advocates for more launch power. 
If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Atlas can. But then, if anyone's, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, wait, sorry. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital program today. Mallow tells me the cannon's doing well, and Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone uh, can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Perhaps I should check with the orbital program crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, <laughs> will be the one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? Blox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they're truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and at last, it is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. Holy shit. So the reason why our sun's exploding is because, not because of it, it's just dying or whatever. It's because the Nomai literally explode the sun and they use the energy from the supernova to go back 22 minutes in time. and then use that data for the probe to keep searching for the eye of the universe. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ashwin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting you to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time. 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after the orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. I know he forgot. No, we've been on the sun station and... I just thought it was used to harness. I didn't know they like exploded the sun. Unless I'm wrong. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Idea. But you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Close as we've been. So the sun station doesn't work. So they just had to wait for whenever a supernova happened. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. Oh no, no, don't explore it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's been a very long time since last explored some were new. So we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Artificial gravity control. Wait one second. Guys, they went to Disneyland. <laughs> Clutch, thanks for the 10 months. Brittle Hollow. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. No, it isn't. Everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved any more time. Ignore Yaro. The core is finished. If my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. 
Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is be beautifully clever. Uh oh. Is something wrong with the warp core in Ash Twin? My gratitude for the latest shipment, uh, Oeno. This core should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin uh, project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Grammy and I will be checking the interior and the exterior for cracks. This is exciting news. Uh, can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ashwin project could lead to disaster. Something happened here. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as if I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Or fails. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'd only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. So it might have failed. Actually, it probably did fail. That's why we're, you know, in the position we are now. Alright, let's check the projection stones over here. I think this just leads to where you can... I don't think this adds anything. Oh, yeah, because because those three places are like the places that we can like activate to. Ah, uh. ah, <laughs> uh, uh, guys. <laughs> Is gravity? We've disabled gravity. Now I can go up there if I want. You are about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ashwin project. There's the core. Oh, uh, maybe maybe we put it back for now. Oh, uh, maybe maybe just like uh, just for just for now we just like just we don't remove it yet. Wait, that's what happens? What? Oh, that's so cool, dude. Oh God, what have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? I, I, I kind of got rid of the Ash Twin project. 
I think, but then I put it back, so <laughs> that worked, right? Like, it worked, right? Huh? Did I just... Did I just... <laughs> what the fuck? Did I just quantum myself? Okay, wait, I should have waited. Okay, wait, I'm not I'm going to stop looking at chat starting now. Okay? Start, starting now, I'm not gonna look at chat. Sorry, I I, I I appreciate you guys, but I what the fuck did I just do? Did I just break the game? Wait, did I just I just quantum? It's like the like the Easter egg that we that we that we got. It's kind of like that, you know, where it's like I I have like I I broke the universe. Oh, what are the odds? Fuck! You're playing it blind? Yeah. Okay. Now we wait. No, wait, I need, I'm closing chat. I'm literally closing chat right now. All right. Now, now I wait for Ashwin. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna get water real quick, okay? Hi. Hi. 
Hi, chat. I'm back. I got water. Am I close? Ah, oh, I think we can do it. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, yes, yes. All right. Um, wait, so let me ask you guys this. Um, since I solved this, um, this puzzle with the Ash Twin and everything, what was the thing that, like, it was like, it was a hard puzzle. I'd say one of the harder ones of the game so far. That you guys said they patched it. I'm asking a chat that I can't read. One second. <laughs> All right. So, chat, you said that um uh they 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 patched it. They added the small alcove. There's no alcove recently? Huh. Okay. Um I will close chat again. <laughs> After I'm done with this game, I would love to hear what it was beforehand. Because I feel like otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now we wait. Wait, I shouldn't wait in here, though. Um, I'll wait in here. I was like pretty close to getting it the first time. I want to say, like if I just dicked around a little bit more, I probably would have gotten it. Uh, mainly because of this, right here. I probably just like would have waited and seen this, and been like, "What the fuck?" And like went back down and like saw the alcove. I knew the alcove was like a little weird. Like it looked strange to me. I just didn't like take advantage of it. So, it was definitely um, going back to the black hole forge helped. Because I got reminded of, like, the five degrees. It was the five degrees hint that got me. It wasn't the in-between. Because I figured out the in-between already through my, like, signals, my scout launcher, you know? Because, like, it teleported. So I was like, oh, okay. So you can do that. That's, like, the answer, basically. There it is. So, um, that's, like, what I figured out. Um, so... How do you do it without do you have to like balance like i guess you maybe like balance in the door frame or like on oh probably like on here that's so hard so you just do this you wait for it to go a little bit and then you go in meow so cool dude Wait. Am I there twice now? Wait. Huh? Is that me? Hi. <laughs> what the? What the heck happened? You're me that I'm confused as you are. Do you think we have the same memories? Good question. Let's see. Remember all the time loops? including the last loop when I jumped into the black hole in here. What about you? Sounds like our memories diverge at the start of this loop. Makes sense to me seeing how jumping into the black hole definitely is what created two of us. What do you think happens if I don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? That's a good question. What am I wondering about? We're thoroughly in uncharted territory at the point. this point. <laughs> We're the feldspar of weird time stuff. Oh, jeez. Feldspar would have just used the time loop to try to increasingly outlandish stunts, wouldn't they? Might be a good thing they aren't aware of it. Anyway, it's been good talking to you. Me, incredibly strange, but good. See you around. It's the greatest day of my life. Sure, two of us are great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know? What about that one? The day I... No, what? No, I'm talking about the other one. Yeah, no, that one makes more sense. Now you got it. That was an incredible day. <laughs> but today is probably the next greatest day of our life after that one. Can you read my mind? Definitely no. I have the same memories as you, except for this loop, I mean. 
I started this loop by popping out of the white hole inside the Ash Twin project. Since the loop before this one, I jumped into the black hole. Okay, what do you think happens if I don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Um, are you me from the last loop? Uh, yeah, I started at the campfire like usual. What do you think happens if you... Okay. Where'd you come from? I, I feel as real as ever. I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination or anything like that. You're pretty real to me. <laughs> There's two of us now. Anyways, good talking to you. Ah! What have we done? Jumping the black hole was a terrible idea. Ah! 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 <laughs> yeah, duplicating living beings probably wasn't what the uh, Nomai had intended when they built the Ashton project. What if being two of us screws anything up? Uh. Maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides an extra version of us, definitely better than if we create an extra anglerfish or something. That's setting the bar pretty low. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. What happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of the loop? Okay. This is so fucking weird. I don't... I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> like, like I, I don't think that we were supposed to like. <laughs> like, I don't think like I think dying inside, like, like, like having the um, reset happen inside the Ash Twin project isn't what normally happens to people. That's so funny. Dude, the timing on that is hilarious. All right, well, let's disable the Ash Twin project. God, it's so pretty in here. The warp core is gone. Do I just leave? Yo, wait, no, I could put, I could put this warp core where the broken one was in Dark Bramble. Or not. Oh, but I got, wait, I only have one life to do it though. Because if I die... Oh my god. If I die, I die. I gotta go. I can't, I can't lose this. Where's Dark Bramble? This way.
if I die, I die. Oh, this is so wild. We disabled our, 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 we, we just, like, we literally disabled our, uh, our autosave. Like, our, like, our, like, like, if we, we're dead, we're, like, if we die in-game, we die in real life. Or, or, you know what I mean. Uh, I still gotta find the vessel the normal, the, 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 the regular way. Slow. I gotta focus on this. speed up a little bit into Here we go, guys. Here we go. This is it. <sighs> Let's replace the warp core and get out of here. Plug it in.
Uh -huh. Ah. Ah. I don't know the code. <laughs> Chat, do I have the code? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I do have the code. <laughs> it's for the eye of the universe. Oh, they're in, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think they're in the bottom left <laughs> on my screen. <laughs> Maybe I need to use my own eye of the universe. Okay. Fuck. I gotta hurry. Needs to go the other way. There we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. We did it. I, I made it to, to the eye of the universe. What it is? Is this it? This is the eye of the universe? This is something older than the universe itself? One second, let me open chat real quick. Okay, chat, quick question. Is that our son? Can I watch it explode <laughs> before I go? Or will will that like end my thing? Yeah, okay.
this. Wait, this is similar. Wait, this looks like the Quum. I mean, it makes sense, but whoa. I'm scared. It got dark. Whoa! Shh! The fuck? I can't respawn though. <laughs> Wait, that's this is I made a joke earlier about how this was going to be my end. And it literally is! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> right, it's because my clone died, right? Like the one back in the Ash Twin? <laughs> Alright, let me load the previous save real quick. We just have to do that real fast again. Oh. Oh, I just gotta hurry this time. Okay. Oh, we, 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 our save's back here. Okay. It's just that my clone is still currently. We gotta just run. We gotta run! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Dude, that is so funny. You know what? This is a legendary playthrough of Outer Wilds. I feel like everything we could have done has gone wrong and in the best way. Eject the map? I can't. No. I'm scared. Whoa. All the quantum. Yo, it's the the storm. can't get it back I, did it it saw it saw a i think it was timber hearth oh well no more scout go this is wild dude Uh, I think I know what to do. I think, I think I go through here. But can I?
Oh, I have to... Oh, oh, I just go up the sides. I'm just being stupid. What happens? No. Let me try this again. I just got to speed this up. So chat, do you guys remember the whole concept of the, the playthrough being a time loop? I just thought to time loop my own time loop, you know? I was like, I was like, yo, like what if I, what if I like, <laughs> um, what if I make a time loop, but like metagame it, you know, with saves rather than actual like, you know, in game stuff. Great idea, right? I love this is a canonically this is canonically a conflict here. I know, right? This is really creepy though. This this is really creepy. And uh it makes me scared. It's really cool, it's really creepy. Cause it like gets all dark and it goes bah, bah, and then bah, 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 bah. like there's like whoa there's a tree and then like well now now there's god it's freaky dude because it's it's simultaneously there and not there like we're the only person to be able to observe the actual eye of the universe in itself you know How the fuck do I get up here, though? Into the eye of the universe. Oh. What is this? What the hell? Huh? What? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, is there a scout? Oh, not our scout. Oh, read things. Thank you. Sorry. Our wild ventures. Uh, the Nomai never got to see for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, um, Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. What is that? At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and it exploded into a violent supernova. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we know called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Is that our signal <laughs> Is that our signal scope? Or our scout, sorry, our scout launcher. <laughs> All of the life of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe. We will miss the anglerfish the least. <laughs> True. What the. Warnfall's observations. This is incredible. At first, I thought the points of lights in the images were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, did everything... Was everything close together at some point? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? What the hell is happening? We're observing the death of the universe? Oh, oh, I can move around. Okay, I can go inwards. What? What? What the fuck? What? It's the Outer Wilds. Oh, did I just kill that galaxy? Oh, they're all exploding. Well, I just helped that one go along. going out. The quantum thing here. Quantum tree.
Um, what? Outer Worlds Ventures? It's myself. What's happening? Huh? The tree got smaller. It's a campfire? Light the campfire. <gasps> we get to roast the marshmallow at the end of time. I'll do a little perfect one. Look at that. Oh. There's trees again. Oh, dude, that was our shadow. I got fucking freaked out for a second. Hey, Esker, you hear music? <laughs> um. Why is the banjo just playing itself? This is fucking creepy, dude. Oh, it changed. It got more ruined. Oh, I don't want to look up. It's like, this is basically showing us the death of the universe. Uh, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for the next part. You know, we'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. I not even exist here. Are we bringing, are we bringing everyone together?
哦哦哦哦。Fucking PTSD, I know. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know where the homies are. Oh, instrument. Instrument. Sorry, I, I totally missed the instruments. Gathering the homies for the end. So weird. Hello? Oh. All this for a piano. Solanum. It was for Solanum. <laughs> I think the last one over here, right? In the ancient glade. Always dark. Oh, look at this. Yeah, bro. Should be it. 
We got all the homies together. It's time. One more for the road. Hey, buds. Oh, I didn't eat it. Wait. Thanks for the fun journey. Thanks for being here. Hi, Chert. Shall I begin? Yes. Well, then here I go. Shall I begin? Conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. What do you say, buddy? What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? I'm ready, Gavro. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yeah. Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Hey, the universe, the universe might be gone, but hey, it's literally the friends we made along the way. Holy shit. Whoa, what is that? What are those images? How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around the campfire? Happy we're all here. Even if it's all over now, I had a good time learning, but I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is the past, but that's, you know, that's okay. I never really got, I've never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. So it's uh, time for something new now. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are we ready to learn what comes next? Right, well, not yet. Right, let me talk to I'll tell you what. This has been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. That kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Cut a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out all right in the end, I suppose. I, I did cut it close multiple times. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Here we go. All reigns is the collapse of the innumerable possibilities before this. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your, curi I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. birth of an entire new universe. Oh, what a great game, dude. Dude, yeah, imagine, imagine if the credits were just a kazoo. I'll wait till the end. Don't worry. I'll wait till the end. But no kazoo. It's the real credits. We've only gotten the kazoo three times, guys. <laughs> what a phenomenal playthrough. I, I, I might be biased. 
but I, I, I never say this. With all the things that I ha that happened, all the crazy moments, and the wild things that went on, this has to be. God, one of the one of the not only best games I've played in a long while, but one of the best playthroughs I've ever done. You know, and I'm glad I finished it. I'm glad we went through everything, uh, and and really just kind of. Uh, dived into it i don't know man like i think this game is extremely overrated i stay by my my thoughts on on streaming it but i'm glad i did regardless um the gameplay was phenomenal um the they say overrated or underrated I, I mean underrated sorry underrated it's underrated did i say overrated i mean i mean completely underrated um, sorry. <laughs> like, like, severely. Uh, my bad. Um, <laughs> imagine it's like, what the fuck? After all that? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I thought it was a, a completely underrated game. Phenomenally, uh, played. The gameplay was amazing. Um, my highlight for sure. Um, I loved the, the power creep in terms of knowledge where you really can't go through the game a second time. You know? Like, I, I've, I've heard that a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of times. I have never... I've never, like... So, Carl Sagan. Um, I've never... experienced a game quite like this, in which you literally can't play it again, this, the, the, like... In, in the same way. But you'll be different, you know? But you can't... That's probably why so many people look for, like, playthroughs of the game. To, like, vicariously live through somebody who's, like, discovering things for the first time. There were things that, like, I was like, Ah, oh, God, I don't want to do this again. Like, the Black Hole Forge, for some reason, was, like, the worst part of the game for me. Um, but it was all worth it. Like, figuring out all of the, um, puzzles, the knowledge that we gained through, like, the narrative. And I think the way we did it, too, was perfect. Uh, you could probably discover a whole bunch of different things about the game in, obviously, different ways. But I liked the path that I took. It seemed like the path of, like the most normal playthrough, <laughs> you know, um, where we discovered the small things first and it's so, it sort of blew up more and more and more until the overarching storyline took place. God, I love strings. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, so I, uh, th there's no wrong way to play it. I want all my friends to play this. What a fantastic game. Um, thanks for all the subs, guys. Uh, sorry I haven't read anything in the past, like, you know, 30 minutes, but... Watch the no clip, do uh, no clip documentary on YouTube about it? Uh, maybe. Actually, I might. Um, there's DLC, right? I might play the DLC. Screw it. I might play next week. Um, while while it's still on my mind. You should wait. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'll, I'll maybe like waiting is apparently the way to go. Really? Really? Okay. You know what? I'll wait a little bit then. I'll wait a little bit. Um. To wait a year like the rest of us did? All right. Maybe <laughs> maybe not a year. Maybe like a couple weeks. I want to... You know what? I'll put out... Um, I'll put out this video on my VOD channel first. And then and then we'll play the DLC, okay? Fourteen point three billion years later.
quo. Oh, that's the image that Sucrose used for the thumbnail. That's funny. <laughs> that's our scout. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. What a great game. I can't believe we got the, uh, um, that was like such, so, such good timing with the little Easter egg. And then I accidentally did the other Easter egg. How crazy was that? Like the timing of it all. I feel like, and then like there was the, the clip where I like, I explore Brittle Hollow for the first time. I'm doing like a slingshot around the, uh, slingshot around the, um, um, the black hole, and then I get hit by one of the meteors. Like, there's so many insane moments in this playthrough. You got all three Easter eggs. And I, two of them accidentally... Well, one of them accidentally. You guys told me to put the scout in. Oh, absolutely insane. God, dude. Uh, my friend and I were watching this. He was one of the lead programmers in this game. He was so happy he enjoyed this. It's one of his favorite projects. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Tell me to say hi. Um, Bell and Barb, thanks for the 10 given subs. Uh, Zuka Zeus, uh, you, stay, stay, stay for a bit. We might do some more uh, Outer Wild stuff. Um, uh, Alexo Smith, thanks for the prime. Um, thanks for all the bits, guys. Jeez. Uh, board bookworm thanks for the 19 months helios with the 15 play outer wilds thanks for the three months i missed it do it again <laughs> electrics thanks for the four months <laughs> oh god no oh whoopsies sorry i almost bleh. fuck <laughs> imagine um incompetent gaming thanks for the tier one that's appropriate um so uh i want to give a couple shout outs first um and then i want to ask um uh i want to ask uh, some questions about my playthrough because i can go like through all spoilers now uh, first off, uh, I want to give a huge thank you to uh, my mods, my moderators, um, it, all, all of my moderators, uh, because they are absolutely wonderful. Uh, I got one of the best mod teams on the platform, because uh, every now and then you'll get somebody who comes in chat and accidentally, not meeting, just really excited about the game and accidentally spoil something uh, that I might not know at the time. And, uh, or like, you know, maybe someone will be like, Oh, maybe try this. And, you know, it comes across as like vaccine, but the mods are awesome because they, they help steer chat in a way that's, uh, friendly for both, uh, new viewers and, uh, old viewers, uh, to prevent spoilers and also well compete, you know, give, give information to the people that don't know. So, um, huge thank you to, um, all of my moderators, uh, for, for making this uh, a good playthrough. Did you ever use autopilot? I did. I used autopilot once and I flew in the sun. Uh, Zay Mancini, thanks for the three months. Oh, speaking of the sun, wasn't that crazy? The sun station? I'm so happy about that. We actually landed on the sun station twice. Uh, the first time we died um, after we landed on the sun station. The second time, um, we uh, I, I, I didn't die. So Pretty cool. Um... Link the interlopers Discord and the Point Critics Discord if anyone wants the Outer Wilds. Oh yeah, if you want to watch other Outer Wilds playthroughs, um, check out my Discord. There's a link there for for that. Um, yeah, it's crazy how the game's only 22 minutes long. <laughs> All right, so chat. Um, uh, question, 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 question. Um, what was the initial like? How did you solve the Ash Twin like project? the first time before they patched it with the little alcove you go under the bridge then how do you wait so you you wait under the bridge and then you run in And then they added the cactus to deter that solution. So then what was the actual solution?
The scout can activate the black hole earlier. No, I did do that. Oh, they added the cactus. The cactus was to deter accidentally finding the solution. Okay, there was that. And then, the, okay, okay. And then the alcove. That makes sense. I saw once someone used their ship on the opening as a buffer, which I tried. I was about to try that. <laughs> right? That's why there's a dead nobody under the bridge to hint that things under the bridge don't get pulled by sands. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Did I miss anything uh, during my playthrough at all? I'm glad I figured that out. I'm pretty happy about that. Rasputin and uh, Jacob Geller made some fantastic videos about this game. I will probably, I'll probably watch. I've been streaming for seven hours. Jesus. I was only supposed to stream for like three or four. Oh, God. Uh, Hollow's Lantern. Oh, yeah. What is what is Hollow's? Like, I tried to land on there once, but I couldn't. What what was there? And I, I did know I missed the Brittle Hollow set, uh, settlement, for sure. I, I know that. Some small lore. Oh, my God. Manic Ben. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Very kind of you. Oh, you got to wait till the end of the loop. Oh, spot one of the volcanoes at the end of the loop. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because you found the space on the vessel's controls. Never got to read that message from the chief. Oh, hell yeah. The only thing I wish I could have done in my playthrough. There's, there's one thing I wish I did. One thing. And that was... Um, I didn't read the beginning. My, the, the, the first, like, two, three hours of my playthrough sucks. Like, from a viewer's perspective, or anyone who wants to watch Outer Wilds, it's like, oh, he's skipping so much dialogue, you know? I skipped so much. And then I started to realize how important it was that I, you know, didn't miss it. And then I, I never went back. Um, but... Manic Ben Live, thank you so much for the 10 again. 20 gifted. To thank you so much. That's very kind of you. If you got one of those subs, then uh, hey, put a pink girl gift in chat, you know? Thank you so much for that. It's very kind of you. The title's falling apart now. Oh, it is. Oh, that's so funny. Is that some. That's. Wait, that's crazy. Wait, so if I. If I like. That's great. I love that. A little cool detail. It falls apart over the course of 22 minutes. Oh. And all the stars in the background are going out. Yeah, you can see the little supernova. Oh, whoa, that's what that was. Right, right. I remember finding that out a while, a while ago. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Um, okay, so there was like one or two. Well, I got I got time for like maybe like a, a video or so. What, what you guys? What was the video that you said to to watch? It was a documentary. 